dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. Cause it's the end game time. Oh, we'll roll the old dice and sing a song. We'll roll the old dice and sing a song. We'll roll the old dice and sing a song. Cause it's the end game time. Oh, a bottle of rum won't do us any harm. A bottle of rum won't do us any harm. A bottle of rum won't do us any harm. Cause it's the end game time. in the sea and dead men in the sand old salt marsh sleeps while its enemies plan best batten down your hatches there's a storm near at hand oh, we should have stayed on land oh we'll roll the old guys and sing a song we'll roll the old guys and sing a song we'll roll the old guys and sing a song cause it's the end time welcome back my friends Last time, at the request of the Council of Salt Marsh, the group set out once again to the haunted house to the north of town with the mission of boarding and eliminating the smugglers and criminals that have been patrolling up and down the coasts. Recently, these bandits sacked a ship, it would seem, setting it afire and leaving it in Salt Marsh Harbor murdering nearly a dozen. The party was able to save one of these survivors, but so far she remains barely conscious in the care of Anders Solmore. So the party, as I said, set out to the north and now boards a jolly boat, the same one used by the smugglers, it would seem, to ferry their illicit goods back and forth from their base ship with Moriah at the helm, <laughs> Inaris at hand, and Nether tucked away in an illusory bit of cargo. They make their way out. Prion, Sarayan, and Talise. You all find yourselves under the water, making a more stealthy below water approach trying to follow the hull of the jolly boat as it goes. You're able to do so without much issue. And as you reach the ship docked in the moonlight, a voice called out to you all that said, So you finally managed to remember the damn signals, huh? And then um, you heard the voice of the captain saying, right then, time to get to work. You have permission to come aboard. And you hear the clunk, 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 sound of a rope ladder being tossed along the side of the boat. Well then, I'll have said. <laughs> so as you come up and you start going to the um, ladder, you see that the one, the, uh, one who's tossed it down looks down and says, Hey, Captain, I don't recognize this one. And then he's like, What's this, then? Who's there? Change of uh, crew, sir. Uh, doing a little personnel switch up. All right, make a deception check. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, I, in my character sheet, I have a, a lingering d20 inspiration, so I'm going to use that here. Uh, so roll for advantage on this. Okay. Fingers crossed. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, good way to start, guys. I rolled a nine. <laughs> I'm <Yay>. so bummed. <laughs> he looks at you. Hmm. Right. Come on up. Yep, this is going to be great. All right. Head on up. <laughs> All right. So you... I'll pull you guys over here. Bye, guys. <laughs> now stand... In the darkness! Ah! In the darkness. 
on this ship here. And walking towards you, floorboards creaking under his feet and peering over the edge is a man in a tricorn hat with what looks to be a glassy, milky eye. He has doubloons sewn into the pauldrons and his face is as weathered as any driftwood you've seen. And he um, whistles to the man next to you, Mariah, who mm. then um, turns and quickly begins to hoist back up the rope that has okay. um, that has been thrown down. Is it um, attached to that portion of the ship, or is it like a free standing? No, it's attached thing. to the edge, attached, but he's okay. kind of just yanking it up. Sure. And then you hear a couple um, sounds, metal sliding against leather, <laughs> as weapons begin to be drawn. And then the captain himself, who you recognize as Snake Eyes, Sigurd Snake Eyes, pulls his weapon. There are two ways to make the sound of a sword being drawn worse. One being the whisper of a well-oiled, expertly cared for blade. But Sigurd's is somewhat of the opposite. A rusty scrape of a dull but fierce blade which has never been washed of the blood of its victims. Mm. And so it draws... Delicious not even reflecting in this moonlight because it is so filthy. And he stands then and looks to the boat and looks to the rest and says, well, this is going to require some explanation. We have protocols for all of this. So what's the meaning of your visit? Well, um, as you can see, I have honored your protocol. Um, just turns out that um, the last people that you were working with um, didn't really seem to be very good at keeping the blood in their veins. Got into a bit of a brawl. And um, honestly, they're not here on the Prime Material anymore. But who says we can't pick up the slack? And whose blood exactly? Did you feed to the sands? Oi, I have his name in my notes. One sec. <laughs> Elena needs to go back through her notebook here. But I definitely know it. Hold on. I can't find it, guys. <laughs> it's that guy who that we stole the key from in the house. Sand ballad. Sand ballad. Sand ballad. <laughs> Sand Ballad, yep, that's the one. <laughs> Sand hear, Ballad and crew. You hear a um, an audible shift in the demeanor of the crew as some gasp and some oh, begin to mutter to themselves. And just a hardening comes at the eyes of, um, of Sigurd. And he says, So then, the two of you mean to replace him as he looks down towards Inaris in the boat. I've been up and down these coasts my entire life. I've done this work before. I mean to continue to do it. Hmm. All right, bring your drow up then. Inaris. And he lists and they, they kick down the ladder again. She'll climb up. Okay. Can you move your tokens? I'm just curious. Yes. Um, Are ooh, you able I to? I can't pick me up. Oh, I all can't right. pick me up either. That is just a delay. Why don't you just all drag yeah. your tokens to where you think you would? I move. got me. And I will delete the old ones, and including those of you in the water. Where am I? Well, be... And just so I'm clear, the fellow who's been speaking is this one with the hat? Yes. Also portrayed up here. Oh, I did not see that. Yes. Wow. This, this over here is... He's ah. salty. <laughs> Super Captain. Super <laughs> Are we able to see this on the um, Twitch? Uh, 
Looks oh. like we've got a nice picture of a different boat right now. Different boat. There we go. That be the figure calling to you from up on the quarterdeck here. What's everyone else up to? <laughs> as soon as Inaris um, uh, ascends, they um, pull up the um, the uh, uh, rope ladder again, and he looks at you and says, Right, Drow, and you too, drop your weapons. Daenerys kind of gently nudge her she'll slowly start to take off like her short sword and her okay. short bow and just sort of and the pirates will come and begin to remove the weapons as you hand them and he will look at you too Mariah do you have any weapons on you I, any uh, daggers anything I let's see I have a crossbow um they will request it be handed over do that and i will pull a dagger out of my boot and kind of flick it to the floor okay i will pick all of them up one of them will then um leave your um sight and go through a door here and enter under the forecastle here and go beneath for you guys just so you know there is a door here a door okay. here and a door here and here. So two doors leading sort of under the forecastle and two doors leading under the quarter deck or the raised front okay. and back parts of the ship. Um, can I... I'm just gonna lean on the um, railing a little bit and kind of just peer out a little bit. Is there any sign of the underwater portion of our crew? <laughs> Uh, you do have dark vision, so make a uh, perception yeah. check. Um, I not water is are black. Wow. I hope that things come back around for me better later. Maybe yeah, when we're, it we're getting that out now. Just getting that out of the way now. That's fine. Um. Right. And then another one disappeared. Okay. And you mean to say you've slayed every last one of them there? Yeah. And expect two of you to do the work that the old crew of ten did before. I rarely work in a group larger. Hmm. Well, you've got quite some nerve, Missy. Oh, my mother tells me that all the time. <laughs> I'm sure someone will make use of you. And he uh, says, right. Bring out some manacles. Mm, okay, till we find the full meaning of what's going on here. <laughs> and this guy reemerges from beneath the quarter deck with um, sets of manacles. Okay. And makes his way towards you. That's not. That's not really. A Hands sure. out, me lassies. Um. Wrists up. Yeah, this this seems like a time to maybe do something. Um, I. Cool guys. If I die on the other end of this, see ya. See ya in the uh, see ya in the afterlife. Um, you won't. I um gonna kind of whistle a few notes under my breath and as I put my hands out instead of just like having them out to be manacled I kind of do a little bit of a quick uh sort of plucking at the the weave a little bit and I'm gonna cast sleep <laughs> on some um, part of the boat are you able to do that with do you have your instrument drawn and ready? Do you need material components, such as a component pouch or your instrument? Uh, can I get them? <laughs> this is, if that is what you are reaching to do, you certainly do not have- I have a drum at my hip. Drawn. 
<laughs> I always have a drum at my hip. Which is interesting. Um, but <laughs> if indeed you have nothing in your hands, you it won't be able to just be such a quick action. It will have to be on your initiative. Order. I figured that was the case. <laughs> so you, you um, hear, you see the quick motions of Mariah and weapons drawn, eyes all trained on you. This crew seems ready and prepared. Yeah, and I know. <laughs> we break into combat. Fuck. Yeah, sorry. I'll all right, my friends. Trying to get other stuff sorted, but yeah, I'll be jumping up there as quick as I can. Okay. Yep, thanks, guys. <laughs> Save me. Yeah, I've just, I've just been ready and waiting. I'm ready to roll. I can't select my token either. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, please, uh, those of you, it, it didn't quite work the way I had them selected. So please just uh, roll them, uh, draw them back on, drop them back on. And. Bandits. Oh my God, there are two prions. There are two Talises as well. You don't. Oh gosh, the other one's on that the doesn't get a boat. wow. Okay, sorry. Offended. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I won't heal you. Um, mm -hmm. that's that's harsh. Because I'm definitely <laughs> gonna need it. <laughs> no, please, I'll definitely heal you. All righty then. Is everyone able to get your tokens on with initiative? I see one. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. Everyone's it is going before um, they... possible that those of you um, swimming could have inched yourselves closer to the boat as it sort of docked. Um, so if you want to be 10 feet or so from the boat, that's fine. I mean, I'm on the other side of the boat. Okay. <laughs> looks like about a 15 foot climb. And. But the, is the ladder there, still down? Nether, what's that? Is the ladder still down or did they pull it back up? They pulled it back up mm. after her. After Anaris ascended. So, Nether, you hear this conversation. You hear the word manacles. And then you hear a sharp intake of breath from your friend. You can tell that she is preparing some type of action. It is now time to act. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no! Ah. Ah. Shit! Ah. Ah. Is it possible to... <laughs> fucking blind! I have no idea what's going on! Um, I will, uh... Sit tight. We'll, um... Hold, um... A, uh... Fey presence to charm or uh, to uh, to frighten um, if, uh, if I feel like anyone who is not a friend comes close. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. I forgot to roll for Mr. First Mate. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. I got a lot of turns here. Yep. Um, Bye. Now I say he will... It's okay. I'll get uh, you say, now this is quite uninvited, and steps down and begins to descend these steps towards you, Inaris. He has a a ugly looking sword drawn and he swings it at you first of all. I have a 20 to hit with this that will do eight points of slashing damage. And then from his belt, he quickly draws what looks to be a small little crossbow and points it in your direction. Attacks. Disadvantage, but it looks cool. We have a natural one. So he will stay there and do that. And that is it for him as he snarls in your direction. The pirate crew goes, one of them is going to attempt to wrap his arms around your waist, Mariah, and attempt to grapple you. 
So a dexterity check or an athletics check. Or acrobatics or? Ath- Sorry, yes. Acrobatics. Okay. Um, I rolled an 11 because the dice hate me tonight. Um, I believe, let's see. I haven't had too many of these. Uh, Sean, is it meet to beat for these checks as well? Uh, indeed it is. All right. So he is a- able to wrap his, uh, he rolled an 11 as well. And oh. has wait, no, uh, d- if it's, it's in a tie, the defender always succeeds. In that check? Okay, cool. Yeah. So you're able to kind of just throw your shoulder and you you hear it connect with his jaw. You're pretty sure he bit a portion of his tongue off and, <laughs> and falls backwards just a bit, unable to get a hold of you. Having seen that, um, the friend next to him draws his scimitar and swings at you. Yeah, great. Okay. Uh, I have a 19. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. For five points of slashing damage. Okay. There is one more... Um, we will put him up here just for that use. About 30 feet up in the crow's nest, who kind of takes and looks down, sees one that looks to be fighting the captain and aims his light crossbow at you, Inaris. And uh, uh, he is high up. It is very dim light. He attacks with disadvantage from that height and has a seven to hit, which I believe is unsuccessful. Now, what looks to be a robed figure, um, likely some type of spellcaster, steps forward and looks towards Inaris as well. He puts his hands in a circular motion and this sort of snake-like crackling purplish energy starts to weave its way towards you. So he casts Witch Bolt. Uh, 11, I believe, misses you, does it, Daenerys? Yes. Yes. So, um, the crackling negative necrotic energy just barely, um, is a little too slow and you're able to duck just out of the way of it, similarly to how you ducked out of the way of the hand crossbow. Lastly, attempting to subdue their targets, the pirate first mate, um, this one looking to be a more experienced sailor comes and makes two swings with his long sword at Moriah. Yep. I have a seven and an eight. Oh, I'm so lucky. So there we go. <laughs> Sarayan, the sound of combat has erupted on the deck of the ship. Your friends are most certainly in danger. Okay, so Sarayan approaches the ship underwater and begins to climb. Okay, it will require an athletics check to climb these planks. It is about between 10 and 15 feet up, but you are able to grab the plank. In some places, even the hull is just a little bit soft and it feels like you work your fingers in between the planks with your utter strength and you're able to claw your way up to the top onto the deck, no problem. Do the I have, crew sorry. wheels around looking surprised and terrified as an actual Triton has boarded their ship. <laughs> Not something um, these guys are used to. Fight me. Um, I say that, <laughs> Sarayan doesn't. <laughs> Y'all uh, are boned now. Wow. So I am going to approach this guy if I have movement still to use, um, and I will attack with my longsword. You probably have about one bit left. Okay, go ahead. Okay. A 10 to hit. Remember, you have a little bit of a blessing there if you want to. Oh, that's right. I would love to. I forgot. (laughs) Yeah. So I roll a d6. Indeed. Okay. (laughs) Ha lol, one. I'm sorry. (laughs) Me too. Uh, 11 is not quite enough, um, though the the singing of the blade as it crashes through the air is um, would have been a mighty blow for sure. <laughs> Anything else for Serene? Uh None for Serene. I hang my head in disappointment. <laughs> All right. Moriah, 
Um, now it is your turn. Sure. Uh, so I will um, use my drum to cast this spell beat a little bit. And um, I'm going to put the sleep up on this top deck area to try to encompass um, the three fellows up here. Okay. I have um, not imported my spell templates quite yet, but we've got, what, a 20, a 10 foot radius? 20 foot radius? Yeah. What is the. Um, and I rolled 24 hit points of sleepiness. <laughs> okay. 24 hit that say. gets someone. Affecting lowest to highest, I believe. Lowest and to highest, yeah. This guy back here at the tiller absolutely just falls over, passes out. Um, I'm going to, um, after doing that, um, shout down towards the uh, boat. Uh, another, if you can hear me, we could use a little firepower, maybe just a tad left of where you hear my voice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna uh, stay very much put. All right, that was good doing who's who's left. <laughs> I hope neither doesn't get confused. Wait, my left um, um, does that? <laughs> I, uh, I wasn't holding an attack. I don't suppose that will. I can uh, switch it out for Eldritch Blast or something. It sounded like it was specifically for something that approaches you. Yes, it was. So just check it. I'd have to say no on that one. In Neris, your weapons have been removed. That's all right. And she'll say, "Did they, they take, take my realize. dagger out of the ground?" <laughs> you will quickly yeah, realize the oh, okay. of existence. Sorry, uh, what was that, Neris? Oh, she said um, uh, the bane of your existence, and I cast bane. Oh, on which ones? Uh, all three. Let's see. I'm here, so dude next to me, and then the next closest two. Okay, so the the Thank one you. bandit, one first mate, and one captain. Yes. Cool. Oh no! Um, oh no! Wisdom saving Charisma. Charisma, right. Ooh. I have a 14 on the captain. Which I probably saves. Is your DC 13? Oh. Inaris? Yes. All right. So that one saves. I have a bandit rolling a two. He is going to be baned. And then the first mate tries to resist it, but only comes up with a seven, also baned. You have two baned targets. Please note that you are concentrating and okay. on this. Awesome. Uh, Anything else? I wondered what would break first. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that is all I can do. All right, Talise. Yes. Um, so I'll climb up the side of the ship. Will require an athletics check. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, are 19. able to do so. No issue. Hooray. Okay. So once I'm on the deck, and I would like to cast Sacred Flame with my cool electric flames. And I will like to cast it on this guy. All right. Yeah. Very nice. He will make a deck saving throw, like I said, where his pirate first meets. Here he is. Make a 12. He has a natural one against that. Yay! <laughs> he will take your four points of radiant damage. What does the radiance of Valkyr look like? It looks like um, very jagged, sort of like white, blue electric, electric flame. And so it sort of is like this weird aura if that makes sense. This aura kind of cascading around him, almost like St. Yeah. Elmo's fire l licking across his body, but burning and... Um, I was going to say more like an yeah. aura on like a Super Saiyan at the higher levels, but 
yours sounds a lot better than mine. <laughs> All right, that's cool. And no, what's happening? My music is going insane here. All right. Um, so that uh, deals damage. Any more movement? Don't think you have a bonus action at this point. Correct? I don't. Okay. Prion. Yes. I'm in the game. Um, before we start, before I forget, massive thank you to Manx, who's just donated $12. Oh, which wow. Which is three D6s, I believe. Ooh. Um, I have to apologize. I've changed to OBS so instead of Streamlabs, so it's I'm not seeing it. It was twelve. I know it was twelve dollars. So I'm assuming that's four. That's fine. These sixes. So thank four you very D6s much, or... mate. Oh yeah, yeah, four D sixes. Four. So Valentine's oh. not here. So oh, why are you rolling it four Next times? Place. Because you said oh we're doing that that this makes more sense you're right <laughs> um <laughs> nether you feel inspired as does mariah talise and ineris uh, mariah's already got one i've used it oh, no, 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 no 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 i don't have one no 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 it was uh that she doesn't was have Sur um, oh, Surian, sorry yeah Surian used it and sorry. unfortunately it was unsuccessful sorry thank you very much manx um i i can't move my character um you, you you put another one on there, right? Uh, you're by the boat. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm there. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, I was gonna grab Nether on the way. I will swim back then if I start there and grab Nether. Okay. So, and so you're coming with me. Who's that? And, and I will grab her. Uh, so it's well, well to... uh, here's the thing. If um. If I drop what I have uh, held, can I change it out for a movement? I think that is in the rules. When you hold an action, you can either do the action that you said you were going to do or do a movement. This I think is those are not your... something that I'm aware of. But Okay, fair enough. Um, I, this is, honestly, this is the first time I've ever heard of that um, condition. It's hardly ever used, obvious, for, for obvious reasons, but I'm just trying to give uh, uh, Prion a little more of his move action and so that if he pops onto the boat and yells, I could scurry to him as opposed to him having to come and get me. Um, Prion, since you, we didn't um, place your token um, to start off, you can start your move where Nether is. Okay. And continue from there. I'll uh, tell her to jump on my back. And I'm... Um... Prion! And I sort of, like, come out of this illusion which drops, and I grab onto Prion's back. Um, and that is... I'm going to run and jump off the boat to try and uh, get as high as I can. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it will still be an athletics check to try to get up. The slippery side of the boat. Uh, 14. 14 is enough, and you can get on up. So that's 5, 10, 15. How high up is it? 10 feet. 15, so that's 25. Um, God, where would I land? That's we'll say question. 25 would get you about right here. So there, okay. Um, Does that proc my held action? <laughs> um... Yeah, we'll say sure, as he drops you um, to the side here. All right. You I'm going smell to... and hear the sound of these creatures around you. Uh, this is a friendly here, right? Yes. And that's Prion. This is a... She does not Sorry. smell bad. She does not smell bad. Whoa! I'm not going to be able to do it without getting everybody... So, I won't. Okay. But you are um, on the ship. Nevertheless. I will stab this guy or whatever the one's got his skull above him. Okay, he is baned indeed. Oh, okay. I will try to stick him with a trident. What does bane give me? It doesn't. Um, it doesn't it's him. on his attacks and saving throws are worse. Oh, okay. Uh, armor class 20. 20 is absolutely a hit. I stick him with the pointy end. Uh, for One six of the three damage. pointy ends. 
Yeah. All right. Um, you stick him in the side, and he crumples a bit beneath it. Seems to do a, quite a bit of... Um, it causes him quite a bit of pain. Nether. Hmm. Well, I've lost Fey Presence. It does consume the spell slot, right? Um, right? It would consume a spell slot, but... Um... Hmm. That's interesting. Um, because it's different from casting a spell. It's not casting it. That's right. Um, no. I'm gonna say it's no. That it's okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and have your spell slot. All right. And um, Mariah, Mariah, and I sort of scrabble around, sort of holding on to the people that I know. I'm like, okay, that's that's Ryan. That's that's Brion. And I kind of crawl under this, and I move over here. I get to there, I hope. Difficult terrain going over the thing, but that's fine. Yep. All right. And I just sort of um, crouch down next to it here. And I will um, do Fey Presence. And I will do it on the. Let's see, I believe the cube it will. Let me double check here. Ooh, 10 foot cube. So I'll do it uh, in front of. So it's just the 10 feet that are right there in front of me that encompass the. Uh, the bad guys right there right here mm-hmm. all right so what is can you post that in the uh, chat and tell us sure. what that does so i just get away from my friends and i scream and it's going to be fear um so they just have to um well, that didn't sh- show up at all it doesn't help yeah but read what it does with the fear effect sure um they are it can, it's it's identical to the to the um, to the spell fear. Um, frightened by me, um, so that means that while I am invisible to them, they have disadvantage and they cannot move closer to me. While you are visible to them, correct. Okay. And I, I scream. Heard invisible to them. Sorry, while I am visible, as so I scream and as I do this sort of um, presence, sort of. There's a, a splash of water that just sort of all of a sudden just comes around me. And then from rising up from the floorboards, like through the water, is a visage of some sort of undulating, uh, vaguely feminine, somewhat fish like uh, face that then crashes down on top of me and then leaves just be standing there. All right. The, um, the, uh, the regular pirate in front of you is absolutely terrified by this, and you see his eyes wide, and he ah, ah, lets out a panic, and um, then the first mate looks around, and he tries to ah, steal himself, but then he rolls a 13, which I believe would save. It does save. That's right. That's 13. Were it not for the fact that he is He's Bane. He's Bane! <laughs> uh, make it a 10! <laughs> and thanks to Talisa's Bane, you see him just uh, at the last moment. Anaris is buying. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Anaris. That was you. His was the sacred flame. Very good. You work. I mean, yeah, I was like one of the two of us. Yeah. 18. That's enough. <laughs> and they are both frightened of you, Nether. Oh, they move away. I don't believe it's like that. It's just a frightened condition upon them. Which is pretty nice. The DM is correct. Hmm. All righty then. <sighs> All hands upon deck. We ought to repel borders as intruders upon me ship. He cries out and then lays into you again in airs. This time he leads with the hand crossbow with a 14 to hit. Mm. Yeah, it hits. 14 hits. That'll do uh, four points of piercing damage. And he will stride forward with the long sword looking um, as he's sort of not you out balance with this arrow. You see a glint come across his eye. He brings the rusty sword across, but the rocking of the boat um, sets off a swing just a bit, and it's a natural one. 
Um, and he does not hit. <clears throat> all right, that is his turn. I've got... I, d I meant to space all of these out, but, you know, the way the dice go sometimes doesn't really happen that way. Um, yeah. This one is absolutely terrified of you and just starts to uh, begin to fight for his life. He will um, wheel about and attack um, Prion. Not sure if the creature standing next to Prion is indeed a hallucination or some type of demon torment. This armored figure in front of him, absolutely a thing. He will attack with disadvantage. Oof. I have an 18, even with disadvantage, which I believe misses, or does that hit you, Priyan? It misses. Of course it does. Tinks off of your armor. The one here next to Sarayan will wheel about and uh, make an attack at you with a six to hit. The one up top will look down. Um, targets are a bit difficult to find, but, ooh, an enemy spellcaster will aim at you. He is human, it is dark, he has disadvantage. But I still have, ooh, another disadvantage, 18 to hit you, um, Talise. Does that hit? I don't wanna die! So I always forget, if it matches, That's I get hit. it. Damn it. Yeah. yeah so In it that case, the quarrel of the light crossbow finds a little uh, space in your armor and the bolt pierces through, dealing three points of damage. Now, this um, caster here will look about trying to uh, um, look for a target here. Will um, have seen you um, summoning that fearful presence and will make an attack with its witch bolt. Uh, not with its witch bolt. It will send an acidic arrow your way, Nether. Oh my gosh. An 11 to hit. So much. That does not hit, but did you roll with advantage? I did. I rolled a natural one. And a Yay. natural six for 11 is the highest. Well, so. I think someone's fired at me. You do indeed see this sort of green sputtering arrow go past no. Nether, but it impacts in the deck behind her. <laughs> Nether does And see. the first, the frightened first mate huh, isn't quite sure what to do. Um, and will put both of his attacks at disadvantage as he frantically tries to fight off this invasion. Uh, 13 and 10 at Mariah. Um, the 13 hits, the 10 does not. 10 points of slashing damage. And I am down. You see Mariah crumple beneath the blow. That's Serain, not ideal. you see your friend fall unconscious. In Which front, was that? After, was that the bind uh, one? Uh, ooh. I put all these icons on here, and 13 minus anything is probably going to miss you, huh? Oh, delightful! You're welcome. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you for reminding me. You <laughs> can refund those 10 hit points. Oh, thank God. And Thanks, then, Saloon. Well, Small and then um, you see a miss, and he says, and you see the captain say, some first mate you are. Try that one again, or it's the cannoneen for ya. And the first mate kind of looks and reels a bit and then makes one more attack. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> With this advantage and still baned. No, oh, he's got a 12. So he will um, still miss and then look. I have to even roll, more, roll, so do you. Even more frightened. <laughs> All right, now it is um, Sarayan's <laughs> turn. These evildoers stand before you, Sarayan. Everything about what they do, what you've heard they do, is <clears throat> against the code of the sea that you have lived your life embodying. They are foes to be put down. Very true. Uh, with that in mind, Sarayan will dust herself off and try again for the one right in front of her with the long sword. 24 to hit. 24 is a hit. You first saw Sarayan kind of unsteadily swinging, but um, it's almost like there wasn't a brief warm-up period. And now you see her sturdy herself. And the way she brings the sword around Prion, it is 
training to the highest degree, absolute exquisite swordsmanship as she plunges this blade into the pirate. And let's see, eight points of damage, you say? Eight points of damage, yes. The creature then um, falls beneath this blow and begins to bleed down into the ocean. Anything else for you? Uh, so, fun fact about Sarayan is that she has never actually been in a battle. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's all been training up to this point. Um, <clears throat> so, she, and theory, so she sees this happen and she's kind of shell shocked just a little bit. Shell shocked, get it? Because she's from the ocean. Uh... But shell shocked <laughs> just a little bit as. She sees the reality of combat for the first time. And it is a grim reality as you yeah. um, see just what your training can do to a mortal body. And it lays as evidence in front of your feet. And that is it for Sarayan. Mariah, you're live. Oh my God. <laughs> so um, I, I lean back against the railing and I, I lock eyes with the guy in front of me. Um, having dodged out of the way of all of his blows so far, um, say, I think you're in a mite of trouble, man. And uh, I will, in his mind, layer several um, very, very close notes on top of one another that just clash and fill his mind. And I will cast uh, Dissonant Whispers on him. Um, so he needs to make a wisdom save for me. If a natural one. So he takes 12 psychic damage. Oh my god. Wow. Um, and if, uh, yes, he must immediately use his reaction, if available, to move as far as his speed allows away from me. <laughs> okay. So he turns around and, first of all, moves out of the range of both you and Daenerys. Um, um, can I make a, um unarmed strike against him? I don't have a weapon attached to you my body, but like... I believe you have to have a weapon to make the okay. it's, it's a uh, part of the conditions. So. Unless you're a monk. Unless, Unless you're a monk. I'm a monk. Oh, well, that's all right. Um, but he still has to get as far away from me as he can, so... Okay. He will run here, he will run here, and he will just swan dive off the side of the ship. And uh, to, can to well, you have to make a uh, attack of opportunity? Bye. She does, yes. Uh, you can... Swing at this guy, Talise, as he jumps oh, off over the gunnel here. Hold still, I'm trying to hit you. Smack and smack. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> That's what he... A critical smack, smack, hit. Smack, smack, smack. <laughs> For seven. Seven damage. All right. Smack, smack, smack. He... <laughs> You see him um, make a, uh, a, a spread his arms out to make that dive, and you just kind of bash him on the top of the head. <laughs> his momentum carries him forward, but his legs hit against the gunnel, and he just sort of flops over, unconscious oh and God. dead, over into the. He water. does the Titanic thing when he goes. <laughs> 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 exactly. Uh, he flops me. awkwardly. You can hear his spinning body repeatedly, repeatedly hitting the uh, hitting the side of the water. Oh, God. Um, I'll uh, look over the uh, dead corpse next to me over at Prion and say, uh, hey, you want to follow up with something nice there? And uh, give him some inspiration. Cool. And just continue to stay put. <laughs> All right, Inaris. Uh, actually, no, may I um, step in? into this space here on top yep, of the can, body. Uh, sort of step on the body. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, oh, excuse me. Sorry. Pardon me. <laughs> and Eris will point at the captain and say, this is for earlier, and I'm going to cast Toll the Dead. Very nice. Is, it, is he missing any hit points? He is not. Okay. Eight. A nine on my wisdom save. Okay, he has to make at least a 12, so he gets <laughs> two damage. It's still damage, and now he's damaged. So <laughs> that uh, means something. So yes, um, you hear this sort of 
gong gong. Sound of a ship's bell sort of ring out. Or what does the the bell of the Raven Queen sound like, I should say? It is very, very dark and heavy sounding. Yeah, so almost sure. uh, almost somewhere between a bell burr, burr, and a burr, burr, burr. Is that Was that sort of noise or...? I think that's what <laughs> Bong, 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 bong. Yeah, so we're in, in between those. Perfect. <laughs> so a uh, quintuple bong rings out and he takes two points of necrotic damage. Huh. Anything else? I think I was checking through my spells because I know that I had one that was a bonus action. Is anyone of our people hurt? I almost said Claire. Badly. Claire. <laughs> Me. <laughs> then I'm going to... Who is this I'm... Claire you speak of? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use my bonus action and cast Healing Word. In another life. Okay. Literally. All that Healing Word damage. Give me that tasty word. Yes. She kills your wounds for six points. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> Oh, guys, I'm back up to full. <laughs> <laughs> Brings us back around to Talis. I know, so now I don't have to heal you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, love that. I love that Julie Andrews laugh you just did. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Um, I guess. Let's see. My plan was to go after the guy, but he just he had to die. So he ruins my plans. Um, do I have line of sight on the guy in the crow's nest? Uh, yeah, he would probably have about three quarters That's covered. The spellcaster, almost straight up what? from you from here. <laughs> well, I would like to sacred flame at him. Okay. Because he gets no benefit from cover. Oh, look at you, tricky, tricky. <laughs> well done. Yeah. All right. Uh, I have a natural 20 for this one. Son of a failed, like, okay. every save so far. Rude. He, you just sort of see him um, clinging to the mast up there in the rigging. And he ducks out of the way. Oh, rude. Fine. Would you like to move at all, Talise? Uh, is there anywhere that I can move that would give me better line of sight for him? I don't um, if you got up here or up here. <laughs> I will actually head up to the front deck then. All right. Do you see Talise run and ascend up the ascend to the quarter deck there. She stands near the rails. Yeah. Prion. Uh, before I just take my go, massive thank you to Pixie Quinn for $10 wow. donated. That's a healing potion. So I'll let Peter do it whenever we we'll just roll Ready? where it appears. Beep, 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 beep. It, uh, Talise, you find, um, sort of hidden in a little, uh, just roped to the side, an emergency little ration of healing potions, just tied with rope to the side of the quarter deck there. How convenient. Just, I'll just Very take nice. that. Are Make they, a dexterity are they... saving throw. Says okay. Pixie on the front. Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> what did um, you say? Are they regulars? It's a re uh, I rolled an 88, so yeah, uh, I think it's a regular. I don't know what's... Yeah, yeah regular. Okay. Um, for my action, he sees the danger in the captain. will charge forward to 5, 10, 15. Take uh, an attack of opportunity from him. If he takes it. Mm -hmm. well, he will with disadvantage. It's a 7. Don't worry about it. Um, and I will try to grapple him and bull rush him off the ship. Okay. So you will need to first go through, um, go into Talisa's space. He is uh, about 10 feet up on those stairs. He is up high Oh, okay. The um, so what have I done? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25? Is that it? Um, oh, nice. You could, I suppose, yeah, you could climb that as yeah. difficult terrain. Yeah. Um, and then I will try so to So are ball. you making a, a shove attack? Yeah, or? I want to bull rush him with him. So I'm going to grab him and dive off with him. Okay. Uh, right. Make a, um, uh, let's do some contested checks then. Does anything happen prior? Let's have a look. Ah! 
<laughs> Does anything happen prior at the end? Uh, so, as you are uh, running at him, um, you see, um, oddly enough, as Prion runs, this uh, the captain's like, ah, bring it on. And he's holding off, and you think that um, he's about to impale Prion as he's running. It seems like a stupid move, but he is just charging, and you hear, yeah! And a little seagull s- swoops down, and the captain kind of looks at him. What? and um, just barely distracts him just enough and then <gasps> readies himself to defend. Um, this seems to be a seagull that has dipped down and has tried to assist Brian ever so slightly. 21, athletics. Ooh, using your inspiration there, I see. Yes. I have to <laughs> roll. I have, ooh, I have a 13. So you have grappled him. Yes. And I would like to use the rest of my movement to jump off the side with him. All right. So the two of you, I will say, can both get off the side as you drag him um, using the rest. I of still the want to be grappled to him as, I, as I'm. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, bye. Go down. Plunge <laughs> off the side of this. Huh. That I believe okay. is the end of your turn, yes. as you guys see the captain go time. down and hear a <laughs> whoosh. Nether. You hear right, now yeah. the sound of more footsteps rushing up. From what direction do I hear them? Underneath. So the I actually have tremor them. sense. Um, do I, does that help me know just how many they are? It's five feet, right? So it's five feet. No, they are further away. You can just simply feel <clears throat> rumbling. Do I have any Not idea which direction they're going? Uh, so you hear them going um it sounds like they are running from here to here so they are running from um aft to the floor of the ship all right i'm unfortunately don't know about sarayan there so i'm gonna move to here feeling my way along this this boat here and i'm gonna duck down behind it um hopefully out of view of whatever was shooting me before and i'm going to hold a spell uh, the first time uh, when, when these things that I feel and hear running, when they are, uh, when the door, whatever is here by the, uh, where is there a door? There is a door here and here. All right, so I'm going to move to there. And as soon as I sense a door opening, I'm going to cast a spell. Okay. <clears throat> I'm concentrating on that. It's oh, the cap- not that. It's the captain's turn. Um, he is going to attack you first with his long sword. The twenty-four to hit you, Prion, will deal ten points of slashing. Can he use a long sword in the water? And while yes. grappled. I thought you could only use small weapons, okay. Um, yeah, 10, yeah, that hits, yeah. Let me double check. I refreshed the... He's he's grappled though, isn't he? Grappling brings his movement to zero. Oh, okay. He can't move, but he can attack. Let's see... Uh, underwater. Don't you just love ah. love the underwater combat? <laughs> it is something that I, I thought that was right, and thank you for bringing that up. Um, he a disadvantage. I made my, right? I've made my second. Yeah, it is a disadvantage. You are right because he does not have. Um, well, but also um, you have not yet. Um, you, you've jumped off and landed in the water. You have not yet pulled him underwater. Um, that would have been a given. Well, <laughs> if it landed in the water. Well, he can. Um, well, if he's in the water. Can. He's in the Either water. Either way, I've he? rolled another, and it is a twenty-three. <laughs> okay, ten points. Of you can't apply actual logic to D and D, Jade. And then with his hand crossbow, it's an eight. Misses. 
That just makes no sense for D. So a kid while grappled in the water can hit me with a long sword and shoot a hand crossbow. Okay, carry on. There's plenty more that <laughs> it doesn't makes no make sense. sense. There's plenty more that doesn't make sense in the rules. Okay. So, um, it has to adhere to a rule set somehow. So that is the end of that. And the one in the crow's nest with his um, will. Um, Look around, he's got, he's going to shoot his crossbow at Inerys. Has a nine to hit. He's not doing so well in this darkness. Um, we have then, Nether indeed you see this door swings open and running out to here are um, some other pirates who have been coming from below. I believe you had a held action. Indeed, um, Nether uh, feels them coming and reaches her hands up and brings them down as she does. Another uh, uh, large uh, spray of seawater goes across uh, the uh, the deck of the ship, and she says, <clears throat> "Dilamangalach as." As um, huge uh, tendrils of seaweed begin to snake up from the deck of the boat out of the water and just grapple these two and just begin to. <laughs> and she casts uh, Arms of Hadar. Ooh, okay, that's a radius on you, right? Mm -hmm, 10 feet. 10 feet. It's everybody, unfortunately. <laughs> What color did you say it was? Uh, just sort of a dark, sickly green. All right. And we can see this. That reaches out. Does it extend beyond cover? Or does it uh, extend believe... beyond a closed door? Each creature in that area must make a strength saving throw. It does not say, I know that it has, that other uh, area effects do say if it extends around, but I don't know. All right, well, they will, um, these, there are actually three of them um, ascending. There's one behind him then in that case that will also make a saving throw. It would include um, Talise then, which is what I'm trying to find out, so. I mean, it's the nature of spells in D&D. &D. I mean, yep. if they're in 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet, so. Do I have to do a strength save? Indeed. It extends beyond. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so you are all right. So I'll make three of them for these guys. Um, I have a 12, a 19, and a 2. So the 19 saves, he takes half, which would be 4. The other two fail, they take 9, and they, uh, they can't take reaction until their next turn. Is just no reaction. Right. All right. Well, they are pretty terrified of that, and will move out and all turn towards you, draw their Yipe! centaurs, and attack. I have an 18 to hit the first that guy. That will hit. Will hit for two points slashing damage. However, I... my armor of Agathis is up. So, what will that do? When did you cast that? Right at the end of the last game. Gotcha. That will, uh, that will trigger that, I do believe. It is indeed. So, just put that there. So five points, and actually, as you see this um, cold energy sort of traveling up his arm, and then um, it sort of begins to freeze his veins, and it looks like his veins grow black beneath his arm, and then he looks down towards his chest, <gasps> and you see the moment in his eyes when it reaches his heart, and it stops beating, and he falls over dead. Yay! The others will continue to attack that second one. Also, so did, did he hit? How much damage did he do? 
I need for the for the right. um hit points. Uh, he did um <laughs> he did two points of slashing damage. Oh. The next one does seven. Also okay. taking a full five. Yeah. And, uh, a demon. And then the third one with a natural one. He isn't so sure he wants to hit you. <laughs> and then um Actually, he can once he can see him. Um the captain <laughs> wheels his head around and says, "Shape up, you dog." Skewer that one. And he's going to try to reroll this. With a scimitar, I have a six. Great. Not going to work. That's not hit. With a scimitar. <laughs> All right. Scimitar. Don't like what you're doing. We got to rescue the captain. He's so, going to. So we're not in the water then. You are. You're you're just underwater. He attacked with disadvantage. Um, I was wondering how that would happen, but yeah, you're just you just dropped into the water. What do you mean? Uh, uh, which one's the captain? The one that you're with. And he says, "We gotta rescue the captain!" And he's running over. Yeah, to but the he side shouted. Of the ship. He, he shouted out to someone just now, didn't he? The captain did, oh, but yeah. he can. I mean, his. You guys haven't sunk like 10 feet below the water. I imagine oh, yeah. you guys being like right here and <laughs> splashing just in the water. That's why he had to attack with disadvantage because he's still in the water, but yeah. he can wheel his head around and he sees his crew fighting. He's an experienced combatant in the seas. As his servant comes out and attempts to attack you, 15 will not hit on that. Bummer. First mate is dead. Which brings us back to Saran. Okay, so Saran. Let's see. So who's. I'm still getting used to people's tokens. Who is right in front of me? That is Mariah. Okay, so I'm gonna move past Mariah to get to... Hmm, can I go... Because moving past her, doesn't that impact how far I can go? It's difficult to ring, so it'll just be twice the movement through her square. Okay, so that's 10, 15, 20, 15 20, to there. 5, 30. Sure, and this okay. guy will take a swing at you. Um, Fair enough. Uh, it's a disadvantage. He's still very afraid of nether. Swings with a five to hit. That's gonna miss. Um, point of order, um, uh, DM. It only lasts till the end of my next turn. Ah. Pay presents, so they're no longer afraid of me. Gotcha. In that case, I have a six to hit you. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it clanks. Oh up. yeah. I'm like, nice try. Um, and Sarayan is going to line herself up directly with the pirate captain and she is going to throw So this is a this is the um seems to be his uh an apprentice or something like that here who has been lobbing some spells that's right here. The captain has gone off the edge with Prion. Oh, is, so I can uh, take a dive with him. I see. I can't see him. Okay. Well, so then in that case the person that makes the most sense is the apprentice. So okay. I will, instead of using my javelin, hit her with my longsword. All right. She is a little halfling. <laughs> Seems mean. <laughs> it is. Uh, you are very imposing over this sort yeah, of wiry hit. little creature <laughs> who looks up and 18 wow. definitely hits. <laughs> like a bully move. Wap, wap, wap. <laughs> wap, 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 wap. <laughs> Indeed, <Bonk>. anything else? <laughs> um, so, no, Sarayan is just continuing to steal herself as she finds how to actually fight in battle. So, she's being, she's gaining confidence. Yeah, it seems like it. Mariah. Um, what manner of weapon are these sort of generic thugs wielding ugly scimitars scimitars huh? none so ugly um, as the captain but 
Of course. Um, I let's see here. Uh, would it be a uh, an appropriate use of an interact with uh, object to retrieve the fellow's scimitar below me and uh, toss it in uh, across the floor towards uh, Nene? Yeah, I can say you can kick it, kind of kick the scimitar Great. in her direction. So I kick a weapon in her direction. Nene, heads up. Um, and then let's see here. I don't really appreciate all of what's going on around Nether over there. Um, so let's just try, let's just try this again. Um, I'm going to cast sleep far enough out such that it hits these two fellows, but not like Nether, <laughs> you know? Sure. Um, let's roll that up here. Don't suck, don't suck, don't suck. 24. So just sort of out in this general vicinity. Yep. I want to see if I can put those fellows to sleep. One falls. Two fall. Unconscious. All right. Uh, Nene, give them hell. Have some inspiration. <laughs> Very nice. Ineris, you have a scimitar at your feet. All right, she will Are you snap. proficient in, with a scimitar? Yes. I think... Proficient... I can use light weapons. I believe I am. Um, crossbow. I can do uh, simple weapons. It's a, it is a finesse weapon, so you can use your decks with it. It is a martial weapon. Short sword, simple weapons. Okay. We would yell thanks. Yeah. I mean, you can oh, use no. your dex, it just won't have. Correct. You just um, will have get a plus three to hit instead of a plus five. Yeah. Okay. But she is going to, she's going to cast Hold the Dead anyway. Okay. Still picking up the weapon? Yes. Yeah. All right. Who is your target? The little halfling right here. She has been hurt, correct? Yes. He, she's just taken a mighty blow from Saraya. A couple bat, 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 bat from Saraya. Yes. <laughs> Wisdom save. The official sound now. Oh, there's my natural twenties. Unfortunately, no. oh. twenty-one on the results there. So she makes. She still takes some damage. Display Not with the cantrip, I believe. It's all or nothing. <laughs> So, so it is unaffected by this boom, 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 boom. <laughs> eh. <laughs> what, uh, uh, anything else on your turn? I think that's all I can do. All right. Talis. You have taken a little bit of damage, I believe, from Nether's. Yeah, I four points of damage four. from it, so. Yeah, I did. It's fine don't appreciate it <sighs> I would like to fire my crossbow up at the guy in the crow's nest cool yes does a 12 hit 12 hits I huh? it does yeah okay well, I'll say she was about to use her inspiration. I know. I was like, I was uh, you, seven. If, you, if you ask, does something hit? That is the. End I know. Point I know. I did it. That's why I was like. I was like, can I get away with it? I was like, can no. I? No. <laughs> Thankfully, no, it hit anyway. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nasty bit of piercing damage. He almost staggers and falls off of the crow's nest here, but he's still up there. Next time. Next time, indeed. Next Freon. time, I'll get him. Um, you have the captain grappled, and you are in the water. So, can I just sort of like swim down with him? Obviously, I've got a sure. swim speed. Your swim speed, you can move at half speed while dragging another creature. That includes in here, as he is resisting you. So, okay. Um, and I will stab him while I'm doing so. All right. <clears throat> uh, Twenty-three to hit. 
Um, 20, yeah, definitely hits. Uh, for five damage. All right. And I will use my second wind for six back. Very nice. And you are now 15 feet beneath the waves. It is dark. The rest of you cannot see where Priyan and the captain have gone. Nether. Nether will. <laughs> she doesn't think there's any more targets around her. She'll. Oh, I am like an action surge, can't I? Oh, sorry. I don't... Are you, it, you doing something? She hasn't done anything yet, so you're. I completely thought I could do it, but I thought it was next level. But if I can action surge, yeah, I'll do it again. Go for it, yeah. Does that mean I can move again as well, then? If you take the dash action. It's not so, another turn, it's just another action. Oh, okay. I'll try and hit it again, then, yeah. Uh, why can't I? Oh, it's that one. Okay. Uh, 17. You're making up for those first sessions. Yes, that yeah. absolutely hits. Oh, it's really a nine damage. Nine damage. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, there you go. Dump. It's fine. No problem. Um, she's going to shoot off an Eldritch Blast. Um, hopefully at the um, sounds of combat she hears around Mariah's voice. Okay. There we go. Disadvantage. Double seventeens for eight points of force damage. Oh, it nearly topples him over, but he is still hanging on just barely. And then I will um, move out of sight through the door. <laughs> it's just sort of hide it on the other side of a, a wall that some sort of some sort of uh, structure between me and whatever else is going on. Okay, I can show you a bit where you're moving. Uh, just okay. be careful. Just. Bear with I me, guys. The whole thing's going to move here for a second. Wah! I did have a question. Um, because of the Tremor Sense, when they fought before, did they roll at advantage? They did not. They did not. Good. All right. Also, Just making sure. Very <laughs> right, good. Well, that's all. Um, Bye, Peter. What's up? Nice boat. Thanks. It's like I can drag it around and stuff. It's fun. Yeah. It's got, fancy. it's got layers. So that's where you are, Nether. Yeah, I'm done. The captain. Hmm. He is going to continue. Well, what is he going to do? Is he going to attack? He is going to try to escape. He is going to make an athletics check. Contested here, Jade. I have a 22. Yep. All right. He is going to break free. He is going to swim up. And that is the extent of what he can do. He is going to break the surface of the water. 14 does hit. Four damage. Four more. Very nice. I can't remember, Jade. Does second wind or um, uh, all that? Does that count as a, um, it's a, bonus a reaction? Action. Bonus action. Bonus action. Yeah. And and uh, it's completely free to use action surge. You just do it. So he resurfaces, but the water is beginning to be chummed with his blood and the dripping blood of the other. Dead. I don't like that word in that context. Oh, indeed. I don't like that at all. Mm. Tasty. Nope. Um, there are two left. One is going to continue his little fight here with you, Talise. He's going to try to fire his crossbow at you. I have a 20 to hit. Oh, that misses. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Eight points of piercing damage. Damn as he it. exacts his crossbow revenge. Was it actually eight, or did you double it because I tried to be a smartass? Both. Damn it. No, it's eight. It was eight. Uh. Almost max damage. Cool, that's what that one will do. This one is going to just continue his battle here with Moriah, using his scimitar, 
attacking for um, 14 to hit. Oh, ow, that, ow, that hurt. Very good. Um, four points of slashing. All righty. That was rude. My absolutely useless little dude here is going to, um, let's see, how far is this? Um, yeah, this is rough for him. Going to Misty Step back to here. We'll mutter some words and we'll disappear into a, a puff of sort of sea air and we'll reappear here. Look at you, Serayan, and then launch some bolts of frosty energy towards you. Just one bolt, actually. Uh, it will be a 23 to hit. That hits. Four cold damage. Are you resistant to cold damage? Really? I am, So you yes. only take two as this um, cold energy that impacts your armor, it doesn't bother you so much. You've been to the depths. This is the feeling of the depths, and uh, it will not take you so much. To the depths. It will depths. not take you to the depths. Awesome. So two. And it's your turn. So two points of damage, yeah. Do you not fear death? <laughs> All right. So, do... I know that um, Creon has gone over the edge with yes, the captain. Yes, it was a dramatic display. I am on my way over the edge as well. Nice. Okay, so you look as you look down, you don't see Creon, but you see having just just um, emerged from the water, sort of treading at the um, wake level, is the uh, pirate captain. Okay, I'm Sigurd. gonna snake eye. Uh, so hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get him down beneath the waves again. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. You're also gonna jump off. Come I am. Off. I'm gonna jump off. I'm gonna try to grapple him. All right. He is pretty strong. Um, I've got a 19 on my athletics check. Okay. Let's see. Hot dice. Hot dice. 11. <laughs> So no, you're you um you reach in, you actually can grab hold of his arm, but you then a sinewy, calloused hand grabs your wrist and just pries it off. I don't like that, but I'm still in the water, baby. <laughs> you are. Yeah. Down there next to me. All right, thank you. Mariah. I'll uh hmm. Look at the f uh this fellow in front of me and say um. I mean, have you seen the state of everyone around you? Is it really, really, you know, you gotta put the effort in here? And, uh, let's, uh, vicious mockery him, I guess. <laughs> so, wisdom save, please. Wisdom. If you, if you I like. I have a 10. That's a failure. So he takes three psychic damage and, um, disadvantage on his next attack roll. Which he will not be making is the psychic damage you do he seems to just begin to panic and hyperventilate. And then you see a little bit of like a, his eye pops suddenly with red, all the blood vessels broken and he simply dies. Yes, he decided he was done. Um, let's see, who can, who, can I see Saran? No, Is she like near yes, the surface? Yes. You can see both the can captain she... and Saran. Mm, I don't know if she can actually hear me though. Their heads are above water. Oh, they are? Okay. I'll lean over the rail and say, uh, Serene, kick his ass. <laughs> Have some She goes, what is ass? <laughs> <laughs> you have a uh, bardic inspiration. <laughs> he doesn't have a donkey. <laughs> I don't understand your terminology. We'll work on that later. <laughs> sure. Need a uh, sailor's dictionary for Sarayan. Um <laughs> Inaris. Okay. I, she will swear and drow, and then I am going to charge this little jerk and attack with my scimitar. Cool. 
15 to hit. Oh, nice. Yeah, that hits. Four plus six. Four damage. Four damage. Four damage. I was about to say, yeah, it added sneak attack in there for some reason. But yeah. Four oh, damage. But, yeah. gotcha. Four damage. Very nice. Um, it, this now a creature kind of squares off at you, ready to combat. Anything else from you? That's it. Talise. Yes. I would like to cast. <sighs> I will cast healing word on myself. Okay. I didn't. Want For seven to. hit points. Nice. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you do cure on yourself? I don't. She might not have it prepared. Oh, okay. I do, but I thought, you know, I'd rather save that for somebody else. And she can still attack with her crossbow if she does healing word. What that was gonna do. Hiya. You know exactly who I'm going for. Wow. Oh, just that 19. first one. I didn't know it. Yeah, I didn't know it rolled with the second one. So three for that guy in the crow's nest who is a jerk. Oh, he's almost, almost, almost there, but he still is hanging on just barely. Bastard. Just Bastard. barely. Next All time. right. Any movement for Talise? Nope. nope. Prion, your quarry has ascended to the water line. Prion will come charging up out of the water. So I can just imagine him would come out of the water and then, like, so his whole body's out of the water and then come down with the trident. <laughs> nice. Like a charge. That's some Jason Momoa stuff there. Yep. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Do it. He's basically Aquaman. I am. Aquaman. Basically Aquaman. I'm going to miss now. I've done all that. 22 to hit. No such thing. Hey. I was going to say, yeah, missed, yeah. Eight damage. Eight damage. He is starting to look rough. Indeed, this cloud of blood around him is growing fiercely by the moment. There aren't any sharks nearby. Be there shame. will be soon. All righty then. We're up to Nether, it looks like. All right, Nether sort of begins to crawl around. She hears sounds of fighting, but they don't seem to be that close. And she sort of moves over. She forgets about the sleeping fellows and trips. And as she does, an Eldritch Blast goes flying up in the air to shoot at the fellow in the crawl's nest. Hey, from here, no, he he's mine. Cover. <laughs> well, I rolled an eight, so it's fine. And I just sort of, Mariah, you all right? What's happening? All right. Are we Everything's winning? fine, dear. Yep. Oh, we're doing smashingly. <laughs> oh, good. And I lean against the gunner, and I just sort of sink down to the ground, and there's blood on one side of her face. Hmm. And that's me done. Gotcha. This one, uh... We'll say, <clears throat> you've made a terrible mistake. <clears throat> and he's barely trying to cough out the water. Um, it seems he is compensating with pure confidence here. Um, oof. That's some next level ego there. Attack with a nine and then his hand across bow. He will wheel around and shoot at Sarayan uh, with a natural one for a five. So he will not be able to hit and he will um, one in water uh, ranged to... one in water ranged combat uh, ranged stuff automatically misses what did, what's that while in combat um, a ranged weapon automatically whip, misses apparently if it's beyond its normal range oh is it oh okay yeah so there's no long range underwater. <laughs> still trying to learn the rules yeah a couple of them. Um, and he will actually, he's going to make an athletics check to try to climb and get away. He will incur this attack of opportunity. 16. Will hit. 6 damage. Oh, ouch. And Saran, are you going to make an opportunity attack as he leaves your range? Oh, certainly, yes. He is looking quite damaged. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, uh, Sarayan is going to use her longsword to Go for it. 
take a slash at him. To try to dice him up. Ah, yikes, not one. Unfortunately, <laughs> that will not hit a little. Oh, now you're the one who's a little overconfident because that does not hit. And he climbs up, makes his way all the way up to the quarter deck. That's as far as he can go. Seems about right. <laughs> he is dripping with brackish water and blood all the same. Keep the the eternal crossbow battle continues. <laughs> At least. Uh, does 13 hit you? Probably not. No. Definitely not. Very good. You cannot, just so you know, you cannot benefit from your shield and use your light crossbow at the same time. That's okay. My AC is 18, so that's With your well shield. Beyond. Yeah, but that's well beyond what the shield adds. What? Isn't it? It adds uh, to when you I know the equipped. sentence I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, so this one... This one it doesn't, but just as we're going forward, remember when you're using your crossbow, you cannot use your shield at the same time. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ah. But regardless, we'll miss. <laughs> um, this one uh, will that provoke an cast and spells, attack, is it? running away. Um, she has a holy symbol on her shield, oh, so she nice. can use it as a spell casting focus as a cleric. That's as nice. can paladins, they are the nice little exception to that. <laughs> Since she had that was newly found last episode. Talk of opportunity, Nene. Indeed. Would you like to as he as she scoots out of your range? Ineris? I going to Uh, it's it's um it's it's turn. It's coming out of your range. I was just asking if you would like to make an attack of opportunity with your. Oh sword. yes, if she's gonna move, yes. Mm -hmm. Killer with steel. Bit of a slow roll twenty. Oh, Rackety. Mm hmm. Rackety wackety. The stolen scimitar. Pop them oh, on their heads. Punk. You will. Uh, you have a D6 and that I gave D6. you. Don't ask if it hits. <laughs> <Six. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Put those words right back. 13 total. You will swing, and it feels like it's going to connect, but then this ah. sort of arcane energy deflects it. It looks as if this caster is magically protected and will turn around and try to magically unprotect you. Um, 18 to hit on this Quitch Bolt. All right. Um, you take 1d12 lightning damage from that, which is going to be four points of lightning damage. The rest, I believe, are dead, and it is now Serayan's turn. Okay, so Serayan will clamber back up the side okay. of the Make boat, hopefully. an athletics <laughs> check. Yes, we shall see. 20. Easily. Perfect. All right, so how much movement did that take from me? Um, So it's 10 feet up. It's about 20 feet of movement. Okay. And so from where she is at the base of these stairs, cause she, does she have a clear shot of the pirate captain? Uh, yeah, you can, you're kind of halfway up the stairs at this point and can, yes. Okay. So, so Sarayan will, having failed with her longsword last time, utilize her other weapon, her javelin, and attempt to lob it at his head. Oh, you could do that from further away if you would like. Oh, um, no. Mm -mm. You want to, it would be, <laughs> if you're throwing it, as a ranged attack, it's going to be at disadvantaged. But if you really oh. want to javelin him, you can do so, but you should do it from about 10 feet back. Do, and I still have that movement, correct? Yeah, you could do okay. it from, from here or something like that. Perfect. 
Okay, yeah. so remembering her training, <laughs> you shouldn't be that close. Sarayan backs up and she begins to take aim and she's going to try to lob it at his head. All right. Okay. Oh! Ah, crit! <laughs> Success! Oh, a natural 20. And how many yeah, points girl. of damage is that? Uh, 17. 17. Nice. Sarayan. As it's for you, sir! His head, indeed, you find with that javelin with your Yay. training. How how would you like to do this to the okay. pirate captain? So, Sarayan, she's a little shaken from actually seeing a man die and then failing on her second attempt to hit the, the pirate captain. And so she takes a deep breath. She backs up. She focuses in and she just throws it right in the center, and what I imagine is that it just gets lobbed right in the back of his head. Indeed, he's turning around to um, deal and look down to Prion, and he's about to turn around and issue an order to his um, to his deck wizard here, and then suddenly, just erupting between his eyes is the point of Saran's javelin. For he was the pirate king! <laughs> for the pirate king! Moriah. Oh, that was delicious. Um, I'm gonna, um, let's see here. I'm gonna um, give Sarayan a hearty pat on the back as I move past here and climb up, stepping on top of this fellow's body again. Um, I, what what weapons is he wielding? The Just captain is wearing a crossbow and a long sword. Um... Yeah, can I can I take his crossbow? <laughs> yeah. And shoot it at the spellcaster. Um yeah, you'll need to use your bonus action to load it. That's fine. Um what's the damage on that? Say D6. It's probably the same to hit for me on my reg my crossbow. Um so let's, let's I think it's a bard a you are proficient in that, right? Yeah, I am. Um so it's a 21 to hit. Um, oh, yeah. And then it's a d6 of damage, I think. So yep, plus your mod. That, um, so two plus uh, do, 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 two, uh, so four damage. Nice. Yeah, that <coughs> sticks in her side. Captain's dead. You wanna stand down? Her eyes a little look a little bit wide. She seems uh, to be frightened and but still a little bit determined at the moment. We're not entirely hard-hearted. <clears throat> um, and she will just- Money, all for money. Open her mouth to say something then. <sighs> Your funeral. But she does back up as if almost look like she's retreating and kind of, she looks like she's cornered and backing her back up against the edge. Talise. Okay. Nay, 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 nay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Nay, nay. Just, just admit it. You don't. You don't love me. I get it. I get Stop. it. Stop. <laughs> she will uh, smirk at the caster and charge. And I will attempt yet again to attack with the stolen gross scimitar. Twelve, unfortunately, is not quite enough again. The same magical energy protects it, protects her. Which brings us again to Talise now. Now for real this time. You know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Once more with feeling. Hiya! If I click hard, it'll do higher damage, that's what I think. Akin to throwing your dice across the room. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Indeed. Those, Must land I'm on gonna, the table to count. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it. Does a 15 hit? It does. Hooray! Any amount of damage you do is going to be enough. And oh, I love that. Pirate will drop from the rigging and splat across the deck. Ooh. Beautiful. Yay! Bring us to Prion. Uh, okay, Prion will scramble up. All right. 
need to make an athletics check to try the scramble. No, no one's failed it yet. I do it automatically. I'm going to fail now. Scramble. Natural 20. Hey. Hey, hey! He runs up the side of the deck, doesn't even use his hands. <laughs> <laughs> and then he the really right. needs to clip his toenails. Ooh. <laughs> Parkour! <laughs> That's uh, so I get to hear. So how much movement do I use? 10. Um, 20, you say, yeah? 20, yeah. Okay. 20, we'll 25, 30. Not hearing what was going on. Uh, 14 misses, no doubt. Um, Let's double check with Mage Armor. Yes, it's 15 is the number you need. Not very Sweet little dog. bugger. <clears throat> Never. She sort of reaches, she's leaning there on the side, and she feels the fellow beside her say, I, I think this fellow is still... <laughs> she stabs really? him in the nose. How much gotcha. face violence? You have a dagger? Yes, I have three daggers. Gotcha. Um, let's see if you can... It is in combat. We're not quite uh, at just execution. Oh, you're not? Okay, well then I won't. I thought it was going to be a just a free coup de grace, but if it's not, then it I won't be do that. It would be on you if that were the case as well, so I'm going to say... Uh, Fair enough. You have to try, otherwise I could just slip y'all's throats while you're asleep. Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> So then, she, she goes. She goes to do it, and she says, "I, well, maybe he'll have something interesting to say." And I put the dagger away, and I will hold an action to uh, Eldritch Blast any enemy that I feel is within reach. Okay. Fire captain's dead. Deck wizard casts a spell and summons. Um. An enormous um, cloud of fog. Heard. And then you hear Curse Splash. Curse Splash. Oh, she's picked the wrong group to try to swim away from. Yeah. <laughs> and you hear sort of a splish, 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 splish sound as this creature <laughs> trying to run away. Um, the obscurement is... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Does that proc my held action? Alt. No. Okay. I, I wouldn't think so. It's um, Fair enough. A little bit far away still. So... Here is where the fog is. And that's their turn. Sarayan. You are in, your vision is completely clouded by this intense, thick fog around you. So I guess the best thing for me to do would be to get out of the fog. Um, how, yeah, and that's quite a radius that it covers, but I will move. Can I just hop over this dead body <laughs> and out yeah. of the fog? Okay, yep. that's what I'll do. And once I'm there, what can I see? Uh, just a cloud of fog. You see, um, what looks to be a slain pirate, two sleeping pirates, a pirate who is twisted and mangled having fallen from that height and your friend Talise up on the quarter deck. You better not be an enemy. Okay. And that. Uh, I am not. Um so I will also hmm, I'm going am I in danger of triggering our little friend if I'm right next to her? No. You are okay, great. So I'm gonna take a stab at this guy. That's right. At advantage. With my long sword. Okay, he is sleeping on the ground. You go to execute him. <gasps> this feels so bad. 
So, all right, go ahead and roll an attack with advantage. All right. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, damage doesn't matter. Um, You, (laughs) Nether is kind of like waiting there, just kind of like defending, and then Saraean just walks past you, turns her sword upside down, and sticks it into the deck. That's what I imagined. (laughs) No mercy. No mercy. That's what I was taught in Triton school. (laughs) Where are you now? What about what about in Paladin school? Surprise. (laughs) No, Triton school. I don't know anything about Paladin school. (laughs) What is a Paladin? Uh, What is Paladin? It's like a palaquin. Palanquin. All righty. After that execution, it's going to be Mariah's turn. You are caught Uh... up in dense fog. Hmm. I'm gonna feel my way down out of the fog. Um, headed over here. Oh, hi, Nether. Um, and, um, I will hold an action to shoot. Can I have grabbed another bolt from what's his face before heading out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I've got the reloaded hand crossbow, and I'm going to hold an action to shoot um, deck, w- deck Wizard um, if I see her emerging from the fog. Deck Wizard. Okay. Ineris. Okay. Can I see her? No. It's heavily obscured. Then I want to use... Dancing light. Well, I can't. If I know where. Do I know what direction she went in? The general direction. I want to throw my dancing lights in that direction to try to see if we okay. can see her. Yeah. So you send them out in that direction. The three orbs sort of hover in what you would think is her direction. Unfortunately, the effect is sort of like turning your high beams on in fog, where it actually you you illuminate the general area but it's ha- almost harder to pinpoint something at this point not harder it not mechanically harder but it doesn't assist maybe for those who are more hard of hearing might have a better idea of where generally to look but that's about it and yeah. unless that's you would like to think. move Um, it will be the turn of Talise. Would I have seen her jump ship before the fog totally rolled in? She did it after she cast the spell. Oh. Then I guess I will hold a crossbow attack until I can see. Her. All right, holding an action. Mm-hmm. Prion. Prion obviously heard her in the water, so we'll dive off into the water. Um, can I see her? You she cannot. The fog's you can up hear high. Where she's going, but it's a it's radius. Okay. So, so I'm in the water. Can I see her legs? Um, yeah. Fog wouldn't be in the water, would it? Um, Probably not. I will, so five, and I will grapple her. All right. Should be it's a her. Is it a her? You think you said it was a her? It's a her, yes. Yes. I will, I will grapple the little halfling. Um, let's see. She's going to squirm at a seven, so good luck. Oh, my God. I nearly rolled a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> I grab her. So, yes. So, I've moved grab five. Her. I grabbed her. And then I will, uh, I've got 25 movements, so I move 10 down. You're pulling her underwater again? Mm-hmm. Or pulling her underwater? Okay. And you hear a, uh, no, wait, just let me go. As she gets pulled under the water. It's like a predator here, Prion. This is, this is some I've scary a, stuff here. I've got a plan. Like a crocodile. Gotcha. All right. Um, all right. Now that you've got hold of her. If that's combat ended, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Sure. That's why, what I was going to He's say. He's going to um, take her down so she's started in the drowning state. 
And while he's underwater, he basically will just start tying her up. Once he's tied her up and gagged her, he will bring her up out of the water. Okay. I will say you are able to do that. Um, you see Prion sort of emerge onto the boat, uh, onto the, the jolly boat, and then to the side with this tied up halfling figure slung over her shoulder. The water is now tinged with rouge completely around the ship and the boards themselves are stained with blood. It's beginning to dry in places almost, and you realize that the sort of hardwood character of this deck is partially due to the many times blood has been spilt on this deck. It is let's, not uh, let's make sure we tie up those other fellows that are uh, still having a snooze. How about we do that? Okay. You do so, and my friends, the ship is yours. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> having taken a a ship. Having taken the sea ghost, that is where Ooh. we will head into our break. And welcome back, everyone. For those of you who may have missed, quick summary. The party fought, and then they took the ship. And that's about it. That's all the <laughs> <laughs> Great summary. Great summary, yeah. <laughs> It was a bit of a rough start, too, um, oh, having yeah. di been disarmed, the first two members that boarded the ship. Um, questionable choice, but it all turned out fine. So eh. I just go with the fun, you know. I guess. Keep it, yeah. uh, keep it spicy. So that was an easy fight, right? Uh, yeah. Relatively. I, didn't I felt good about it. things. <sighs> yeah. Well, guess what? We have a boat now. <laughs> we have Is that how that works? I don't think so. Oh yeah, yeah. When you, you take a, a when very... you when you take a ship, you can kind of claim it as your own. I mean, who's going to stop us? <laughs> Does anybody know how to? I don't know. Work a boat? I I do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when you have a minute, um, Mariah, what is? What is ass? It's not important right now. I just, I need to know oh, for later. Okay, so you know um, on your, the other side go, of your... We don't okay. need to go into oh, okay. that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, just I actually want to, hear, I want to hear this conversation, actually. <laughs> can, we, can we talk <laughs> about this? As disgusted as I am, I want to hear this. Go on, Mara. No, I just... Tell her. Uh, she's so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> she thought she was being quiet. No. Do, do, no. Triton, do Tritons poop? How do you poop? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so sorry, not we're we're not trying to put you on the spot here, so Ryan. But you know like the other the side of your body, form. right? Yeah, right. Okay, so you know what your back is, right? <laughs> right. Okay, so you know where you go a little farther down, right? And I, I turn around and I literally I'm running my hand down my back, and when I get to my butt, I'm pointing at it. Oh. Yeah. You got one. I know you do. Okay, thank <laughs> Underneath you so that much. Armor somewhere. This has been very illuminating. Yeah, happy to help. She walks off scribbling. Yeah. And you kick it. Ugh. The edification. <clears throat> Hear this other sort of splashing sound now coming from the side of the ship. Those of you who go and peer over, yes, see dorsal fins beginning to crest the mm. water. And an hey. occasional blooming of um, of red, as pieces of dead flesh are feasted upon. Um, hey, we... another say to the sharks. Oh, oh right! So... I was like, like another. What do you want? <laughs> you see one of them kind of turn their eye up towards you. What? What you doing? Eating. I understand. What you eating? Way. <laughs> flesh, blood. Is there actually flesh and blood? I know there's blood, but did any pieces or there was, actual there was some people, people go? That jumped overboard. Yeah. There was one person, right? One got sent. Two, two bodies in the water. I think. Two. Two. The the yeah, first mate and one of the thugs. Yeah. Yeah, because I hit a guy who died midair. <laughs> All right. Okay. Just, just making sure. I, yeah. sp I, right, we'll I speak then. back <laughs> in shark and say, "Eat well." <laughs> I speak shark. Hands off. And he, <laughs> and he get the tear into the. Um. 
into the uh Well, shall we have a look at our spoils? I'm gonna go make friends. And I go and I find all the rats. <laughs> what about this little lass here? And I'll plop her down. I guess uh, we'll, we'll get them all tied gagged up. and terrified. Yeah. I mean, oh. you can leave her with me. That's fine. Nene and I will just, you know, we'll take care of her. She's fine. Usually, fine. we can ask her a couple questions here. Oh, yeah. We could do that, I think too. there are a couple things That's that we fine. would really love to know about. I'll kind of kneel down in front of her. Just look her straight in the eye. She's just looking... Did, yeah. did someone say they ungagged her? Or she oh, no, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna say, try to cast anything verbal, and they're gonna kill you immediately. All right. I know how this shit works. Okay, I'll unhook the gag. <coughs> What's your name? Call me Saltfoot. Saltfoot, nice. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Araya. These are my wonderful, wonderful friends. We're gonna take this boat, just for the record. Um, but whether or not you make it to shore alive probably depends on whether or not you answer some questions um, with decency and honesty. Who has, by the way, as you were starting this conversation, assuming you're up on the deck here, who has a um, passive perception of 15 or higher? Me. I do. In behind this door, you hear sort of a creaking sound and the whispering of guttural voices. First question. <laughs> First, first question. Exactly so. Who's behind that door over there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're just, uh, some guests of ours. Yes. Yes. Aggressive ones. What kind of guests? Potentially. They're known to be. What kind of guests? They're yeah. Are they tall? Are they short? Uh, do Look, they have hair? Let's spare a bit of time here. I'll tell you what we're up to. F, you give me that boat there, and enough gold for me to get safe back up to Luskin. I'm not sure you're in a position to bargain. You're going to the. Look, you're going to be arrested. And it's hung. a backwater, but I, that's exactly my point. I understand it. So, you can either let me go with, like I've said, but if you hang on to me, I'm dead anyway. If you hand me over to the guards, I know this. So my only choice is to give you something worth your while and hope you'll spare me and let me What will that be? chart a different course. We can just go and have a look in there. Or we can kill you. Who are you working for? Again, I'll set everything clear if you let me go. Okay, I'll pick her up. Okay. We'll go over to the <laughs> edge. Oh, Hang her over on, the on, edge. On, How about now? Make an intimidation Yay. check. In D &D, gonna... Can you use strength as intimidation? I shout down to the um, to the sharks and say, "Hey, it'd be really cool if one of you jumped up really fast, really with a big open mouth, just about now. We've we've got another thing to throw down to you." You know, indeed, a <laughs> perfect little <laughs> circle of wow. You're bad at this, but you <laughs> I'm did so well. Bad at this. <laughs> you can roll an advantage. I I helped you. <laughs> I, don't, I think I don't I think I'll push my luck. Proficiency, uh, proficiency in intimidation. All right, all right, all right. Just quiet. <laughs> wait, wait, uh, wait, uh, we've been bringing them things here. All the, they've been small holes of uh, cargo and whatnot, but the ones in there, we've been supplying them 
for some time now. But what Top are Top quality they? stuff. Weapons. So, please. Are you just going to keep terrifying me or are you going to let me explain and let me go? What's it going back to down be? on the seat. I'd prefer you just execute me now if this is what it's going to be. I've no stomach for long trials and stuff. I chose this life. May have been a mistake, aye, but let it let it end now. I'm sure it'd be, it'd be better than the treatment I'll get from those salt marsh thugs in their prison. Mm. I don't with blame you. Walls, with those walls so close and nary a window to look out. Mm. I'd prefer a death on the sea to that, to rotten like that. Well, you know, you do have another option. You don't, I mean, you don't have, I mean, you should help us either way. Frankly, because if you don't, my friend will probably kill you as soon as someone, Prion, turns his back. But, um, you know, you don't have to go to jail. You don't have to go to Lusk. You could go to the temple where there's plenty of wonderful views and sea air and the walls aren't that constricting and you could do something actually useful is that a sermon no it's me trying to be nice before i let my friend kill you all right all right, all right. i think i think the friend i think saltfoot has made the point fairly clearly that it, going on and on about killing her isn't really going to get us anywhere she knows okay, the situation maybe. we know the situation and maybe. i can sympathize you know, I don't. I wouldn't really want to get caught up in the judicial system. So let's hear what you have to say about what's going on here, and then we'll decide how much that's worth. Your life's the baseline. This is just, you know, how much we're willing to supply you with. DM. Mm -hmm. While this little conversation is progressing, may I try and get an? Listen, that's what might be behind this door. Or, uh, sure, make a perception check. Um, Oof. Nothing. Not a damn thing with a number mm -hmm. two. It smells bad, but that's about it. Sort of. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Did I hear that? Um, that language. Yes, maybe. Um, just the fragments. Um, you can hear it, but it's not like it's being clearly spoken. No. It's being can I understand what dialect it is? What languages do you speak? Common, Elvish, and Primordial. Primordial covers many sea creature languages. No. And, okay. What languages does Nether speak? Nether speaks Common and Infernal. Nether does not recognize these sounds at all, either. And Besides, Prion, you're busy with a prisoner. About my passive. Was. Yeah. Ah, I was just seeing if he heard. I hear word. everything. I see everything. Blah blah. blah. <laughs> it sounds like <laughs> some just of muttering. us just have the fifteen. Okay, it's fine. Um, I have a fourteen. I mean, no, that's not fifteen. DM, I don't want to brag, but I have a ten. So, <laughs> so Rain, the best. focused on the task at hand, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Writing down what ass means. All right. Come no on, chance something. that it's dwarvish, right? That'd be nice. So you're just gonna keep dangling me then? Oh no no! Come on, bring her down. Dang, oh, I've already put a set back down. Yeah, okay, set her that's down. Not even oh. what I meant. I mean, I ready. look, this is what's in there. The same, same shit. Those, those Neverwinter and that damned Lord's Alliance. All of you, the same. Oh, <laughs> but... <laughs> please. Oh, you like. touch yourself like that, but what would you what would you do if you were in a little cell, can you imagine? 
I told the same you, thing. I'm not oh, going to put you in a if cell. If you behave and if you tell us enough, if you rat out enough of your friends, then maybe we'll let you go. And you spill and you spill till your heart's filled with salt and you're sunk less than a person when they hang you from the rope. That won't be me. I don't want to see you hang. Let's go see what All this right. one says. You're missing the metaphor. Metaphor, <laughs> metaphor. Come on. Not I already you. told you that I'm not interested in killing you. All right? right. I just want to so know what's up on this ship. Me, so I told me. you that no, you, you get didn't. to walk yes, away with your you life. Did. Yeah, no. I did. You implied I, it. I, you said if what I, pro what I provide fine. is worth it. Fine. But you didn't. What I want to do is tell you this. I want to tell, get to the point. I'll tell all I know. And if you shove a dagger through me throat, me heart, it means you're a liar. So tell me this. If I tell you, do I get to walk away with just enough to get me back to somewhere far away? Or are you getting all of this out with the intention of betraying me anyway? Who As are you? Tell me. I spit into the palm of my hand and hold it out in front of her lock and eyes. You're gonna leave this ship with your life and some coin. Prion looks Tell disgusted. me everything. Yeah, Sarayan is taking notes, trying to learn about the customs of human interaction. <laughs> Mostly this watching just have, Mariah. This will just have to do, and she just <laughs> spits into your hand because her hands are bound. All right, I sort of like reach and like kind of like awkwardly shake her bound hands. Yeah, we're like, all right. Who's nearest to Sarayan? I don't know. Hmm. You're kind of all probably gathered around a bit. Okay, I'm going to say it's Talise. <laughs> okay. And she's going to lean over and say, is this, is this the moral thing to do? Is, is this the right, the, the right thing? Mor morally? Not exactly the right person to ask, but it's oh. something. I think yeah, may I ask a question first before we proceed with any other things that you have to say? I'll just is be this, right here. Sorry. Is this the boat that that attacked and burned the ship in the harbor the other night? Are you asking that of me? I am. Yes. Nasty business, that. Whose idea was it to chain the people to the bottom of the boat and let them Brown. You found them that way, did you? Well, they were mostly killed. All but one of them, I suppose. She was uh, very disrespectful to Sigurd. Though he gave her the worst of the lot. Chained to all her comrades. Hearing them clink as she took the last gulp's assault. So, Mariah, I think you might have made a mistake in showing so mercy she, here. Mm -hmm. Is starting to unsheathe her long sword. Yeah. All right. Maybe this is dishonorable. There are times Stab. when you are on the sea that difficult choices need to be made. All right. Um, no. We still have her, right? Yeah, she's, Let her finish she's talking. bound. She's bound and at your mercy. <laughs> what else can we learn from her? She's evil. We Plenty. Should... No, she's not evil. But she I still think evil. we should stab her. I'm just misguided. I agree. We should stab... I... No, should... no, no. We should stab her. The families of the people who live in salt marsh deserve some sort of justice and if all we can do is offer them one of the people that are responsible for the death of their loved ones then that's what it should be that's the greater good i agree isn't there some guy sleeping the over good. there how about that's... he be responsible you both should face trial and if it's death then it's well, death before oh, we get so all wrapped up that, in what's we? going on here that we let her finish talking all right we're gonna keep There's... yammering our mouths and make everything pointless no, it's not pointless. It's a discussion of morality. 
She sheathes her sword and she turns around. You guys haven't been doing this together long, have you? Not at all. Keep talking. Oh, I, I, excuse me. Are you done? Are you? Can I stab her now? No. <sighs> right. So, that boat, no one ever comes close to these rocks. We've been navigating them. Sigurd, well, he's a right bastard. Ate his guts, but thought a few more voyages with him and I'd be all set in my own place. So, turned an eye and kept to my studies. Thought I could finally get into that red tower up there in Luskin. It's... Well... It's my dream. But, uh, so, right. One or two more sails. And we knew this coastline well. Clever bastard knew all these rocks. And no one ever dared sail that way. It's just, it's too dangerous. But, sure, we're taking a rest on the third watch, about to set sail again when it's dark and air comes. Some damned Oland trading boat sees it all on display. No flag flying. Damned noble good do gooder comes and asks the questions. Olands aren't supposed to be that way. Just let lie. You see a shrouded sail near a rock, you just keep going. But no, they pulled their tack and swung around and asked who we were. So we boarded. We slew. We asked questions and offered to let one go, but she were feisty. Like I said, I wish her fate hadn't been what it was, but can't disobey Captain. It's the surest way to die. So, he ordered them to string her end to end with her slain comrades, keel hauled her under the boat. We looped together the jolly boats, set her full of tinder and oil, set her afire and drifted her into Saltmarsh Harbour. She was supposed to sink, looked like a slaver ship or some such, with all the manacles and dead below. But it sounds like you found it a little sooner than we planned. What, did you manage to rescue it or something? Got some stuff out. Bully on you. Hmm. Um, here's a question for you. Um, during your up and down movement on the coast, um, pick up a fellow named Ned. Ah, Captain and first mate went ashore once. Came back with the poor corpse with a new smile carved just below his chin. Said he knew a bit much about what was going on about during our rendezvous. So, brought him out. I guess he were one of the ones we strung up there. Figured it was good a way as any to dispose him. Fair enough. Um... I, uh... How long ago I'm gonna did you pick him up? i an insight check on that. Sure. Yeah, not good. Twelve. How, how long ago did you pick him up? See, you don't pick up any dishonesty. She's being pretty forthright now that you've okay. sworn and shaken hands, it seems like. Sure. Ah, uh, that's where... Yeah. She's kind of thinking. Two nights ago, maybe? About Cotton, where? Cotton was at the, uh, was it the, uh, empty net, apparently, or maybe not Cotton, but one of the boys, and heard someone talking a little too much, so. Yeah. That checks out. What was he saying? Uh, 
I was trying to get out of town. Said he uh, got a little bit too deep with his job. It's supposed to be a simple one, but turned out to be a bit more dangerous than he thought. A little more ruthless. Thought he was the baiter, but turned out to be the bait. Something like that. Interesting. Um, he was being used, poor lad, but uh, nonetheless, they thought he knew too much. So, the ear to ear smile. Hmm. Um, this uh, arrangement that you had with Sand Ballot bringing the goods back and forth. Who's your buyer? And who's selling? The buyer? This is. Look, we move some of that. We bypass the, the taxes and everything. With, well, whatever goods we can get our hands on. But that weren't the money. Like I told you, the money were in other things. Weapons for that lot. And she mm. gestures towards the cabin. I'm gonna and walk over to the cabin. And that lot is what exactly? Scaly folk. Green, oh. smelly, reptilian. So swargen, is that right? Nah. Them are fishy folk. Talking about lizards. So you've got a few of them on board with you. They're barely human. Yeah, they came to oversee the final shipment. Wanted to make sure they could uh, offer their payment at the very end. Very sus very suspicious and superstitious of that. That's fair. Say they're preparing for some something great. Don't yeah, I'm gonna make a nature check based on real well. Go ahead. Based on what you've just said. Sure. Thirteen. Um I guess it maybe sounds like lizard folk. You may have heard of that. Um, Do lizard, lizard folk generally have a strong smell? You've never encountered one, so okay. that's why her description sounds like that, but you aren't. With a 13, you aren't quite able to piece everything together. Where are you bringing the weapons? What is just headed there? Uh, Well, just, hmm, just north of the marsh, really. Okay. That's where these fel fellows come from, then? Well, there's supposed to be a boat. They're supposed to unload it, and they leave the payment and go. Hmm. Fascinating. So all of your friends have gotten a lot quiet now. What about you, mister? And you, miss? I know you're Triton. I know you're kind. I've seen them before. You don't know my kind. You don't know me. Huh. Are we done talking to her? Are you going to let me go? My intention is to keep if my word. If she says so. I think that we should have a group vote. That seems mm -hmm. like the most just thing. I. Well, there's your honor. On the plank, me lass. Best of luck to you. How about we take them somewhere else so that we can have a group vote in private? Please. Um, is, I presume that there is some sort of place where they can be held um i guess we're gonna have to find one how about um the place where they came out of originally maybe yeah so um opening up to this room here you see um excuse me this is a galley there seems to be full cooking equipment here okay. um can and I find the yep, other door, door in the well. back if you open that yeah. back one there it looks to be the um, 
the food stores. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure about that. Maybe we can just tie them up on um, one top deck and we can go to the other. I don't really want to let them out of sight. Entirely, at least. Does that sound okay? Y'all? Um, I'm yes, binding the I'm binding the other dwarf as well first. Yeah, well, okay. If if no one is objecting, then I'm going to say that we're going to just bring them up here and then take the the conversation to the other side of the ship. Okay. You bind them to the um, bowsprit, I think. Here and the thingy. The thingy. So it's always <laughs> the thingy. Official. Official. I think that's term. a technical term. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It is actually the Aha. thingy. It's the, the thingy that All right. does No, no, thing. no. The thingy you said. It's the thingy. oh right. Damn it, <laughs> got it wrong. Yep. I won't get it wrong next time. Um, so yes, <laughs> uh, with enough uh, people with sailing proficiency that you have, the knots and such come pretty easily, and you able to feel they're pretty secured. Also, mm. one of them was bringing out manacles, so you have a couple pair of those I along also... with a simple key. Gag her again. Yep. Sounds good. All right. I don't understand. She committed such atrocities. Why should we let her live? You have the information you wanted from her. I made a promise to get that information. But you, you made the promise on behalf of, of the entire... I. We weren't going to get anything from her without making a promise. Did you see how she was acting earlier? She didn't give a fuck if Priam dropped her off the edge and she drowned. He should have. There's a, there, you reach a certain point sometimes when you know that there is nothing standing between you and the end. All right? And there are some people with the metal to not resist that. She's clearly one of them. That's fine. I don't care how she meets her end, except she has to meet her end. I agree with Tobias. At this point, she's responsible for too many deaths of innocent sailors, and I can't let her go. You have fulfilled your bloodlust on more than half of this ship's crew. This isn't bloodlust. This is not this about is, bloodlust. This is justice. Is it? It's not. This is justice. I don't plan to kill her. I plan to take her in so then she can serve justice. If that is by the noose, then so be it. If it's to spend her rest of her days in a rotting cell, so be it. I suggested she go to the temple so that she could, you know, actually do something beneficial, but she didn't want to hear that. So the next choice is prison or death. Justice. You let her go. She's just going to murder someone else. Exactly. You take someone else's child, daughter, son. Take your pick. Seems to me like you have a really narrow mind about what people are capable of. Oh, I've seen what she's capable of. It didn't mm. seem like this was a one-time offense for her. She showed no she remorse. She had no remorse. Yeah, she's not sorry. She'll do it again to stay alive. That's her attitude. And she'll do it as soon as her next captain orders her to out of fear from her captain. Mm. And a good captain on a pirate ship is scary. So she'll do that. And you'll be responsible. I say at the very least for we take her, her back to shore so she can face a jury and whatever they decide. I agree. Mm. You're right, maybe I overstepped by, I led with my emotions and that was on me, but we can't just let her go. And this is a group. We can't just make decisions for everything. <laughs> but First of all, let's not get too hasty about the fact that we're a group, okay? We are working together. We're cooperating. We met you earlier today, okay? So... Uh, and there, there is a problem. Me. The problem is that Mariah did give her word, and I don't think I've ever actually heard her give her word ever before, except for just once. How long have yeah. you known Mariah? Longer than you have. Uh, but that doesn't answer my question, how long Years. you her. Okay, so Mariah's not involved then. Mariah won't be the one that takes her in. 
Mariah will have nothing to do with it. Mariah keeps her word. Fine, sounds good to me. That's the kind of double talk I expect to hear from a temple rat. <laughs> <laughs> but you like rats, right, Nether? I do like rats. Oh, so you do like me deep down. I knew it. <laughs> right. Touche. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay, Nether. I still like you. But I don't like her. The the prisoner. Um, oh, no, it's okay. You can admit it if you don't like me. Mariah. No, I, I literally meant the... I Mariah meant gave the her word. <sighs> Letting her go means we're okay with all these deaths. We're not okay with it, but Mariah gave her word. But it's got to count for something. Mariah allowed to speak on behalf of the entire group? I don't understand. I'm she really I made be. a quick call, all right? In she shouldn't be allowed, but she did. I respect so. that. I do. I really do respect that. But these people, they have to face justice. Not by why? not by cutting their throats. So why should we be the arbiters? <laughs> so tie her up, throw her in a dinghy with some gold, and send her on her way. No. Nope. This, this is all going to be about it. justice for you guys, right? Letter of the law? You I weren't on Is that what matters that to you guys? In this case, yes, because she killed innocent sailors. You didn't Fine. See what we then saw. fucking clap me in irons and take me in too. Why? Right? You didn't set fire to the ship? No, I didn't, didn't set fire to a fucking ship. I'm not selling people up and down the coast, but I'm not exactly a law abider either. But I didn't see you break the law recently, so that's not really part of this. It just steal a ship. That's kind of breaking the law. We haven't stolen it the yet. The pirate ship thing doesn't really matter. Law of the sea, amongst the free folk and pirates, is if you fucking capture a ship, you get to take it. All right. Really, but what we've learned here is that we shouldn't take captives. And actually, I, I will that. butt into you. Will know that it's also law of. Lord's Alliance and those who enforce the sea, for the most part, that the law of the prize is pretty supreme. So, if you yeah. take a ship lawfully within the jurisdiction of, you know, and under proper jurisdiction, it is your prize. Um, so, that is so, really, all it really comes down to is it sounds like most of you want to do something that Mariah has sworn would not happen. There's more of you than there are of her. So, do what you will. If you want to make Mariah a liar, you have the power to do so. I don't think she could stop you. <clears throat> it doesn't sound like you're going to convince her that she should go back on her word. It doesn't sound like she's going to convince you that you should respect her word. But what if I gave my word? Would you respect that? What would depend on what you gave your word for. Oh. <clears throat> That I wouldn't but see it, her throat cut. That I wouldn't feed her to the to the sharks. That she would face justice. That's not what Mariah would. said. No, but if, what if I would have said that? Then we'd be would having a different conversation. Then, then we would be having a different conversation and when we wouldn't have the information that we have now. What, what did you exactly promise? Exactly word for word. Or as close as you can get. That she gets to leave the ship with her life and enough money as deemed amount deemed worthy depending on how useful the information was that okay. she can get by okay that's fine we can put her on the dinghy tie her up and give her a bag of gold and you still won't have broken your promise mm -hmm. and we can even put a note on her so that the next person that finds her will know what she did that seems <laughs> that seems to fit the Very... promise so you don't break your, so you're not losing any face or any honor. She's alive. She leaves with gold. And then we can also leave a note that she needs to be turned in to the nearest local government for crimes. This seems like a good compromise to me. Well, the three of you could tie me down and make force me to watch as all of this goes by with no problem. So I'm out of options, apparently. We're not going to tie you down, Mariah. You're a part of this mm. group. I well, see you as a not friend. A group, apparently. She did just say we're not a group. Well, I said we're functionally a group. 
wasn't going to capitalize on alliances and friendships that don't necessarily exist yet. No. No. Right now, we're just... Not at all. Mariah gave her word in good faith. This sort of finagling that you're doing, that is not good faith. So if it makes you feel better, then fine. But I'm pretty sure that's not what Mariah had in mind. And no amount of of doublespeak will change that. It's not entirely in the spirit of it, except it's exactly what she promised. Doesn't really hold water with me. Hmm. Anaris will just look Mariah dead in the eye and she'll just freeze. Well, this does suck. But the queen does not want her death. Are you sure? Even if it's at the hands of justice? I can't take a life if my queen isn't ready for it. So then we, the only option then is to put her in a boat with some gold. Tie her. We could tie her hands or tie her feet. We could even give her some oars. I say But we they just... were going to manacle us. Actually, they were going to... I mean, they were going to manacle kill and kill us, potentially, or sell us in Where's, where's, where's the dinghy that she's going in? It's right back there. It's the one just, that we came just... In. <laughs> She'll pull out a handful of gold. Give her this, throw her into the dinghy, and just be done with it. There's so many other things that we can be dealing with at the moment. My queen does not want her death. It is not her time to go. If I kill her now, then I'm in trouble. Well, can I manacle her at least so that she has some punishment? If she dies, the queen will consider that blood on my hands. Again, this is going down to the nitty gritty. Mariah's given her word. Your queen will not be happy with you. What about the rest of us? I want justice for this person that has killed potentially thousands of innocents. There's no one stopping you from from taking what you want. Up until now, I've really enjoyed working with you all. I would hate for us to have to part ways like this. I can't kill her myself, but the way that I've been instructed... Sounds like you want to. Oh, I do, but just because I want something doesn't mean I'm going to. That's neither here nor there. What matters is that I would be in a whole heck of a lot of trouble if I actually killed her, because then I wouldn't be able to, you know, actually pray to Valkor and actually get anything back. He just needs some sort of balance for all of the hurt that she caused the sailors. That's right. But that doesn't solve the problem. It really comes down to, are you willing to ignore the fact that Mariah gave a word? If you are, then the course seems clear. Yes, one hundred percent. Those of you who want to kill her will have to convince Pryon not to do that, and that's a different argument. Oh, he doesn't want to kill her himself. He wants to hand her over. Right, but there's some of you who seem to want to kill her now. No, I just want justice. I thought it was wrong to just send her away with a slap on the wrist. And actually to pay her for it. And then to give her money. It's like a reward. To, To pay her for killing innocent sailors. Tying them under the boat. You didn't see what we saw. Yeah. She's a monster. I've seen that kind of thing before. I'm You've not been in a burning with that ship. kind of punishment. You've yes. been in the burning ship. I have been in a burning ship. Then you understand our Can't we just send of course. her on her way, please? Just do do what you want to do. Just You're not going to be able to convince Mariah to go back on her word, and she's well, not going to be able to convince you that it's a good thing to do. So Clearly not, and I think the group writ large has decided. Sounds like it. I'm sorry, Mariah. The three face justice. I am going to uh, leave this portion of the deck and go to where I think maybe the captain's quarters are. I want to investigate. I'm right. leaving this conversation. I don't feel like I have anything productive to say. Wants to collaborate with Talise and, um, oh my gosh, Prion. And Daenerys to see oh my gosh, how we can, because I, I was called you Jade, <laughs> to see how we can facilitate this. 
Anaris is gonna actually follow Mariah. Wait, wait, Anaris, don't go! I have to find out exactly what, because if I get something wrong, then it's going to be a problem for me too. So exactly what can I not do? Zing has to, she has to live. Okay, she does, just has to live. Does it really come down to semantics with you and your god? It comes down to semantics with her. Look, I really, just, just go with it, okay? I've been with her for a long time, this is just how we do things. So, she just has to live, and we cannot be directly responsible for her death. Can't, we cannot be responsible oh, for her death. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. In okay. any way, and I'll go with Mariah. Thank you! Okay, where are those manacles? So Ray and we'll go off with Talise in search of the manacles. <laughs> Um, there are some on deck that yeah. they they had brought out because they were going to clap them upon both police and um, Mariah. Interesting. Those are available. Yeah. Um, indeed. Um, and it's a, uh, yeah, interesting bit here. So you can find... Uh, <laughs> Two pairs um, looking through and searching around a bit. Um, none of you have opened the door to the um, starboard side of the quarter deck quite yet, but um, there is still that sort of sound emanating from there. But you can find pretty quickly a couple sets of manacles, enough rope to bind them more securely. Um, as you do that, uh, Moriah and Inaris, you enter this top area here. This is certainly the captain's cabin. This furniture is clean and good repair. Uh, there's a single bed here made of linen. Um, a writing desk towards the stern. Um, there is an ink pot, two quill pens, um, a pewter container that resembles a pepper pot. And against the desk is an upright wooden chair and a brass-bound wooden chest. Um, there's a bearskin rug and a lantern hanging from the ceiling, casting a dim light in the evening. Okay. That is what you find there so far as the rest of the crew gathers the manacles and rebinds, I suppose, the sleeping crew and the still-waking... Um, deck wizard saltfoot who kind of looks um, between you as you rebind her and just make solid eye contact with all of you as you do this do you need something i did what i could my goddess didn't strike me with a sudden thought i tried to help you why of all the people here you seem a little dagger happy i am but if you don't have your word then what do you have well put i'm not going to directly stop them it's not my fight but i tried at least this way, they can't do anything that will directly involve her death. You still kept your word. You ensured that she left the book, left the ship with her life and with money, which she is. Heather's not wrong. The spirit of it doesn't really count. But I also know when I'm outnumbered. And I know when not to continue a fight that I can't win. So... It is what it is, and I will just have to sit with my issues, as I have done for several decades now. So, whoopee. I'm gonna head farther into the room and just start poking around in the back. Okay. I'll There's not a chest break and a trust. writing desk. Yeah. 
Thank you. And I'll, Anaris will just stand outside the door and just lean up against it. She's not interested in anything in the captain's quarters. Okay. Actually, speaking of things that she might be interested in, does it look like this chest is locked? I mean, it has a lock on it. Okay. I just kind of gently play at it. Does it. Is it locked? Like, fully, or is it just empty? Or, uh, not empty. I'm yeah, um, opening it, you kind of nudge the lid and it doesn't seem to open on its own. Okay. Actually, um, this might be up your alley. Microphones at work would be up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> I will come in and take a look. Okay, Interesting. You, you see a chest that appears to be locked. I am going to bust out my thieves' tools and see about unlocking that. Go for it. Do I need to do anything for this? What do they tell me? Yep. It's probably... Are you proficient in sleight of hand? Yes. Just roll a sleight of hand check. It will be the same modifier if you are proficient in thieves' tools. 21. Nice. nice. Yeah. You hear a little... Um, slide uh, the, you hear the uh, latch slide apart and easy done and uh, what do we got in there what do we have alright so as you open the lid of the chest you hear a slight snapping sound and it seems like a panel from under the chest pops open and whipping around is what appears to be a thin blade which slices across both of you i need both of you to make a dexterity saving throw as this blade slices across oof uh, i'm going to use my d6 Let's see if i can get it uh 12 probably not enough a 12 right. is not quite enough. Yeah, shit happens. Um, Inaris, you take 7 points of slashing damage. Mariah, you take a full 15. That fucking knocks me. So you take see seven. Mariah kind of <laughs> yep. reaching for a spot and blood is spurting out from um, between her fingers. Oh, shit. I cast. Hold on. Hold on. I have a thing. Spare the dying. Okay. Um, Mariah kind of, you see her eyes fade and the blood continues to trickle between your hands, but you put your hands down and call upon the Raven Queen and say, not yet, not her. And the Lucky. Blood goes. Mariah is laying there, unconscious, in a pool of blood upon the bearskin rug. At least it's a little stylish. Anaris will poke her head out the door. Anyone a cleric? Um, in the meantime, there have been a couple minutes in this time. Have you guys done anything besides bind rebinding the prisoners in manacles and such? Well, I would another, like to yeah. I would like to manacle them to each other. Rather okay. than like normal, if that's okay with the others. Sure. What they did to the uh, prisoners they took. I mean, that's not what I, I was thinking. More like they can support oh, each other, not no, that. No, I was thinking the opposite thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ooh, I was. I was literally. Justice. I was like, I was literally like, you guys get to all go be together, but okay. So there are we'll two go, unconscious we'll ones, and then the awake they'd one. Be, they'd be conscious foot. by now, wouldn't they? If they were asleep, probably starting to. If you just yeah, they should. Awake. They should definitely be awake minute. by now. Oh, it's only a yeah. minute. Yeah, they're awake yeah. then. Yeah, I was like. Dang, that's a super. That's really intense. they kind intense. of are looking around, then. My spells are powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's the Maris this time. She's 20 levels ahead of the rest of us, are her spells. Cheers, mate. <laughs> that is how that goes. <laughs> um, okay. So we've bound them up. Um, how, uh, how much gold should we put in? Do we think a bag each? A handful each? How much. Do we want to do? 
In we Aris, can't skimp on it. We have to be, like, honest. Inaris has already given her gold. That is enough. I am not rewarding anyone else. Okay. Okay. So let's swim them out to the dinghy. And oh, then they set can stay it. on here. Do you want to leave them on here? We don't want to put them on the boat. Why do we need to? They're here. I thought we... Maybe I mis maybe I misunderstood. I thought we were putting them on the boat and setting it adrift towards Salt Marsh. No, that wasn't my plan. No, that was my suggestion, and things got weird. So whatever we agree to, I'm fine with. We face justice. They go back, and then the guards can take them and do what they want. For the record, the manacling in the same way was like Liz thinking that it was not. <laughs> My character thinking that it was me like, ooh, interesting. I literally was just like, I was literally like thinking more like a, like kind of like a three-legged race thing. Where I was like, oh, that's it's fun. so awkward when you're attached to somebody else. I wish I'd been Z says more five gold is enough. Saray and Hammurabi over here. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, no! Eye for an eye, ha, ha, underbelly ha, of a ship Sumerian for an underbelly jokes. of a ship. <laughs> oh, dang. That's the kind of humor you get here at Missed Opportunities. Oh, dear. Code of law. Sumerian salt. Thank you, Hammurabi. Yes. Um, hmm. oh, now I'm remembering middle school. I'd like to try and find out what's abort, in this. Abort, uh... abort, everyone back. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> that's the true ghosts of Salt Marsh. That's when I got voted off the lunch table. Oh. <laughs> and can Nether talk to some rats? Yeah. Aww. Um, there are a couple hiding in the um in the scullery. Hey, it's all right. No one's gonna hurt you. Like two of them, kind of creep out from. from I've got. Their cabinet. A, I've got a question for you. Is can you can you help me out? What kind of things are in that room up, up here? And I sort of feel along the wall until I feel like underneath the floor where they all are. Big lizard. Big lizard. Like how big? Bigger than me. Bigger than me? You're bigger than me. I am. Are the lizards bigger than me? Bigger than me. Bigger than me. How many of your friends do you think there are on this boat? Like a whole nest or just you? Hmm. Nest. All right. Do you go in the room with the lizard? No. Do they eat you? Yes. How many lizards? I've eaten. Not me. How, how many lizards? If you could get away from one, would another one be able to catch you? Yes. If you got away from that one, would another one be able to catch you? Yes. If you got away from three, would one be able to catch you still? The rat seems confused. It's all right. All right. Go back to doing what you're doing. Don't eat me. I'm kind of. Oh, nope. I hate eating rats. Me too. It kind of starts to nibble on some fallen little bits in there. Hey, is there anything in this book that is, I don't know, hidden away? It's a place that you can get to that maybe other people can't? People like me. A secret place. Yes. So is it secret for a rat or is it secret for... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
show me your secret place. <laughs> okay. It will begin to um, sort of um, scamper along down the stairs into the lower area. Here where you will find a bunch of bunks. And then it seems to drop all the way down into like through a hole in the bottom down into what you can only assume is the bilge. Well, that's not much of a secret. I cannot see the bilge. But, yeah. Um, not being able to see. Nether is somewhat familiar with boats, being that that's where she works. Is it seemed to be any part of this that would be a little mm, looking for secret doors or secret compartments? Um. So, if you're following the rat... I'm if, using the rat to help me, so I hopefully don't have to do it at a disadvantage. Yeah, do a regular roll as you're kind of following it around the ship. Regular roll, regular roll. Regular roll. I've got a five. I'll use my D6 inspiration. A lot of good it'll do me. Come on. I've got a seven. A seven. Um, a lot of rat holes and some awful smells and strange sort of squirreling sound, or squirreling, um, squirming sounds coming from the bilge. What's down there? Safety. Is also, it just rats? Scary. No. Grubs. What? How big are the grubs? Big. Bigger than you? Yes. Do you eat the grubs? Or do the grubs eat you? I'm faster. Hmm. Safe path. Good to know. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm done for a while. Big grubs, big grubs. Um, right. So, the rest of you up top, not following rats. <laughs> what is the decision, and what do we do? It sounds like we have the prisoners tied up for now. Are you exploring the rest of the ship? Are you starting to steer it towards home? What is going on? I'm, I'm unconscious. And now it calls out for a cleric, doesn't she? Yeah. Yes, and now, excuse me, yes, now, thank you, you hear the sound of Inaris calling out, and as you run towards the captain's cabin, you see Mariah lie, lying covered in her own blood. Um, there was a fucking trap. So, just, so you, you did likely it. Likely story from a dark elf. I know. Nobody fucking I mean, it has nothing to do with, was. I mean, it's not that, <laughs> elf, it's not that you're a, it's not that you're a dark elf because you know that's bullshit but uh, you didn't do that just no check there it. was i'm wounded too there was a trap oh. in the chest and i will go back in go into the chest and see what's in there as she points it out you can clearly see that there is a sprung trap um in the chest however um there is a bit of uh see here. Aha. There are um, just a pile of gold ingots. Just pure gold bars. There are ten of them. You would imagine in total they're worth probably about a thousand gold. Hmm. Well, she's going to be pissed that she got attacked for that. Huh. She seems to think have a pretty low adventure price range, so maybe she'll be fine with it. I mean, you tend to think that, you know, a couple bars of gold isn't a whole lot, and the rest of us think that that's pretty good. So, hmm. Yeah, Chelsea, but how much would you have given? 5,000? 10,000? <laughs> 5,000, at least. Yeah, minimum. Bare minimum starting um 
I'll be right back. And so then, walk over to Mariah. I don't want to do this right now. She doesn't like me. She's not going to say thank you. I'll say thank you. You're doing it for me. I am. I'm doing it oh. for you. I'm doing it for Valkyrie. I will cast healing word Cute for five wounds. points. Hmm? Cure wounds is better. I know what I'm about, son. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Mariah sort of stirs again to consciousness mm. with five hit points. Ow. You are a bit <clears throat> conflicted, Talise. In your conscience, there is... For both, um, both Talise and Saran, it's a tough time in your codes because, on in the law of the sea, there are things permitted that would not be permitted on land. That is simply the case. That is the law of desperation. That is the law of war upon the sea. When feeding a starving prisoner would starve the rest of the crew that sometimes prisoners must be executed. To prevent, you know, danger, sometimes... It, quarter is not guaranteed even by, um, even by Volker at times, though that is good. Um, it is good when that can be the case. All arrangements should be made for the safe passage, but not always. In the same way, the strength of the crew is necessary for survival. This can require things to be flexible at times, but not too flexible as to bend against one's conscience fully. It is complicated. It is very tough. And you are in the midst of that gale at the moment, as someone who has helped tied, to, tied you together before is now feels like it's blowing against the current that you wish to take. These are things you will have to struggle with. They fall on opposite sides of the teaching, the justice that Persana lived for and the family he assembled to do it. Same thing, the good that Volker was able to achieve on the sea and the crew that he had to bind together to do so to these. So that's what I will say for that. Ow. We really need to start checking for traps next time we open chests. Ow. I'm a little damp. Thank you, Talise. <laughs> you were muted there. Stand back Teresa. up. Yeah, no problem. And Talise walks back out, and now I will remember to unmute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope it was worth it. No, not really. There's only 10 gold bars in there. A waste of time. You have such strange standards. I'm well, worth, I'm worth more than that. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> um, is there, just out of a point of curiosity, is there actually a hat on this chest here? Or is that just decorative? <laughs> a hat? Um, sure, uh, yes. There's yeah. a, I put it on a, my head. <laughs> a spare tricorn hat that Mariah proudly donned. Awesome. Um, so, there's big lizards and grubs on this boat. Is that a problem? Probably. <laughs> um, like big grubs. Bigger than rats. Oh, that's gross. So is this, as this goes on, and as you are kind of poking around, looking around, you do hear the, the click of a door. And the other the door. The door was bound closed. And sorry, no, the not the, but you do hear this the 
of the other one on the forecastle. Oh, you bound oh. the door. That door. Wait, right. He, he, he barred. He barred the door. The uh, the lizard things. Right? Didn't you? Didn't you print? Um, didn't you print? You didn't. That. I could have sworn you did. No, I was going to go and open the door to have a look, but I didn't. No, no, leave the hat on. Yeah, oh. put it back. There must be at least put one back or we hat it. in every campaign. Let's start turning off all the cameras. And, we'll and you, hear, you hear that, and you just that if if your door is open, anyone who looks back can see a green lizard-like head just kind of poking its head outside the door, and then it kind of withdraws back and closes the door again. Did I see that? Oh, uh, I might be able to from my vantage point since I think we left the door open. That's a little odd. Yeah, anyone can see it. It wasn't. Quiet when they I'm, open. I'm them. Above I, them, I so can't see it. You, you're correct. You cannot see it. <laughs> what did you say, Jade? Sorry. I'm above them, so I wouldn't have seen it. I yeah. might have heard it. Yeah, because I I left and walked back hello. out. So I, up on the front deck. Hello, hello, hello. The door opens again, and that's it. So. The there's this creature with a lizard-like head. It kind of looks about green scales and looks yeah. about the crew, the bodies, and says, <clears throat> Was mutiny? Yeah. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Captain, now who? I look around to the, the group up top and, um, back at Anaris and say yep. apparently that's up to a vote. You have hat. I do? Apparently you're the captain. You have the hat. Captain or stole hat. It's, it's only like captain hat. Totally. Captain honor deal. Yes. Um Oh. Need a All little right. bit of an update on what the uh, terms of your arrangement were between my predecessor and yourselves. Mm. Liver goods, get more. I look up at the crew gathered on on the top deck. Not super long, but you know. Deliver goods. I'll yes. ask if I'll ask on if they deal? speak draconic. You do speak draconic. They look up at... Come on, out, all of you. How many are there? Show yourself, coward! Are you captain now? Sure. No. I'm her second... First? Mate? First mate. Order yes, master. first mate. Quartermaster. Quartermaster. Show yourself. Quarter, quartermaster. That's what I am. All of you out of there. Come here. And I'm saying all of this in Draconic. No. We stay. As was deal. You honor deal. Yes? What, what was the deal? Deliver goods. Get more. Get more shiny. What are you going to do with them? What's your great goal that we're helping you achieve? And they kind of shut the door. Deliver mm -hmm. shiny. Is what Maybe there's something written down somewhere that explains all this. Maybe. The kobolds, um, they're idiots. I was gonna go back and check the desk and see maybe if there's anything like useful <laughs> papers and such what. Oh yeah, make an investigation check. Is anyone proficient in investigation? <laughs> that can help me. <laughs> I can help you, but I'm not proficient. No, you have to. You got to be proficient in order to help. Unfortunately, you get more support alone. <laughs> okay, I don't have the actual. Can you guide me, please? If you don't hate me. <laughs> I'll ask her if she can give me a hand, basically, looking around. You're uh, muted again. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. 
I promise I'll not forget and then I forget. Yeah, there's no button, so guidance. <laughs> okay. I'll uh, investigate. Now, knowing me, yep, that that's pretty typical. Yep, so I rolled an 11. <laughs> With 11, um, you find what appear to be a pile of ledgers and things, and flipping through them immediately, you can't find anything that would make sense, so... A lot of it is vagaries. Um, he refers to things in abbreviation and um, just as um, in quotation marks and such. So um, finding specifics is going to take a little bit more time All right. than that role allowed. So you close them up and you kind of, but you feel like you can gather together most of the ledgers and papers and stuff. Yeah, I'll do that um, and hang on to those and I'll set about you know, planning to take care of those more more depth at a later time. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So what about these lizard people? I don't know. It's not like we know exactly what their plans are, so... We did anyone really... ask them? Oh, I did just try, but they didn't seem exactly forthcoming. Did anyone threaten them with throwing them overboard? Maybe that'll work. <laughs> oh, cool. I... They want to deliver shinies. That, that was apparently their deal. Well, they're, they're part of a group, according to our previous uh, interviewee. Um, they're bringing weapons and such what um, to wherever it is that they're gathering north of the marsh. What exactly it is they're doing with those weapons? Who knows? Don't you usually use weapons to attack things? Probably. Is there anything else around here other than salt marsh that's worth being attacked? Uh, that's a great question, DM. Um, what's north of the marsh? Um, not much in this area. Um, it's mostly deserted. Um, Saran, you would know from stopping or along with the um, sea elves too that one of the things they mentioned was that the lizard folk who lived in the marsh, they said there's a large, they kind of referred to it as a hive of them. Um, they would, they, that was one of the things they pointed to when um, the one that they asked you to look for disappeared. When they mentioned um, Duran Phil and his disappearance, they said they've seen a lot more lizard folk swimming along the marsh and they're barbaric. Perhaps they took him and did terrible things to him. Was well, something they mentioned. It seems that there is talk, at least among the deep, about there being the, the, the lizard folk sort of marshalling a bit. And I am nowhere near this conversation between these two, though, right? We're still up with. The... I think this is a group kind of. You're up on the quarter deck, so they'd just be sort of. So down everyone is way. back. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I was I was sort of looking at you guys up up top because I think they came out of a door that's like right. Yeah, they've kind of closed the door. They're kind of yeah. under you. They don't seem to communicate well or understand particularly well from what okay. you've gathered. Even the common is very broken and mm -hmm. the draconic is just regular broken. So Okay. So I can gather enough to yeah. kind of Yeah, you together. hear them talking about it and you hear um Inaris refer to um Inaris, you might have seen them as lizard folk as opposed to kobold. Um but they are, um, when they stick their head out, they are much larger than an actual kobold would be. Still, though you're correct, lizard folk are typically simpler tribal um, people. So, yeah. Most, and actually not considered people by most civilized races. They're almost pests at times. So, yes, you are all gathered, I would say, now in this discussion of what to do. Um, it would seem from what they have admitted they have a shipment of weapons for which they have paid half. They came along to see that the shipment is delivered and will pay the rest on delivery. So I share what I learned on my travels with them. So are we are saying you, there's a load of weapons here then? Evidently. Didn't find anything like that, but then I'm not really equipped for finding things. <clears throat> Grubs. There's another level of the ship that most of you have not... I mean, Nether, you talked about poking around a bit and following a yeah. rat, but for Didn't the most part, it, I think. truly investigating, not so much. 
I'll go take a look. Hmm. I will search the ship. Going below deck, um, there is one area where a, a number of barrels, and there's a, of course, the um, barracks. Here is the main hold. Um, barrels of water, of wine, of such are all stored. And then in back. Could you make an investigation check, please? Anyone and anyone who is accompanying him can I'll help or make your own investigation checks, should you like. Or. I can't actually help, I think. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, hello! I rolled a 22, but that's on a natural 20. Yeah. Creon is just looking around. He's not very perceptive I'm when it comes down to that. Very keenly looking around. Yeah, so as you do, the first thing you find is a secret compartment. Woo! behind the quarters here, which appear to be either the bosuns, maybe the first mates. It's a private quarters. Okay. And in this is, um, in here there are a case, there is a case of weapons. These are fine steel weapons. A dozen long swords, each morning stars, shields, javelins, Many of them printed with the coat of arms of Neverwinter. These are weapons that any city's army in the Lord Alliance, Lord's Alliance would equip their finest soldiers with, of the finest quality. Okay. Um, probably it's, it's worth, it's, it's immensely valuable and would be, um, if indeed stolen or purchased illegally um it's it's quite a haul um, you could oh. equip half an army with this all right well then <laughs> um is there anything over here you find this and then with that roll you find the second half where oh. hello sitting here is it appears to be a prison cell um squeeze here between the stern and the back wall that you find there is a little bit of a holding cell it seems that a few creatures could be kind of shoved together in here to be held but as you are looking you find only one laying unconscious he has a pale blue skin and white hair he lays unconscious upon the ground. What race is he? He looks to be elvish, though there are webs between his fingers, between his toes. He is wearing mostly rags, but he is most certainly a sea elf. Yeah, that's what I thought. Eh, he kind of looks like my dad. Really? Kinda poke him a little bit. Yeah. Give him a little like gentle slap around the face to see if I can wake him. And he kind of <gasps> stirs just a bit. Please. Hello there. Are you okay? Please don't. Hey. You okay? What? No, you're probably not okay. That was a dumb question. Um. Hi. Do you want some water? Who are you? Um, Mariah, Creon, we took the ship. <clears throat> Pirates. That, yeah, that... no, they're, they're taking care of Apparently, I look it's up asking, at Freon. <laughs> it's asking about you. No. No, we're and not he pirates. Looks and he, his eyes fall upon the shields of both um, um, Talese and Serayan. Oh, they're with us. You serve justice. Who are, who are all of you? I'm Serayan. Uh, the Triton people. I serve Persona. And Persona, above all else, believed in justice, and I tried to huh. help do justice today. Praised be Persona. The tides have carried me home. Well, for some Thank water. you, Triton. Thank you all. I am 
<clears throat> Durantil. Hey, isn't that that guy that you mentioned? Yes. Nice to meet you, Durantil. I, I'm nearby here. I, my home, I'm from. But I, I scouted too far and, well, ran across these. <clears throat> I am fortunate to live, I think. Yes. We want to help you get back home. Hi. I'm Prianza. Nice to meet you. Well, I That's offer a some noble water. name, Prianza. Really? Well. Th thank you. Yes. Drink some. And he will gladly take whatever you give. Yeah. I had over my um, and just drink it and he actually kind of pours a bit over the top of his head it almost looks like his skin is drying out like he's not used to being um in this water and he kind of wipes it across his body a little bit <sighs> is he so. bound um no it seems that once you unlock this door, um, he was mostly just pretty much just knocked unconscious. Um, he had no hope of clawing through the door or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So he was simply being held prisoner. Maybe your equipment's around here somewhere. Oh, I can help you look for it. I travel with you. Thank you. I. I must get back and tell my people of there is a great threat marshalling in the marshes. Weapons, dozens of them. The f lizard folk push further out aggressively. Dozens at a time, marching, assembling outposts. I meant to report this back before these found me. They bore, they gleamed. These were not wood and and bronze. These were steel weapons. The lizard folk fight amongst themselves, quarrel over the marshes. They don't bear steel and march upon land. You must bring word. We have some A on great board. threat is boiling up in the marshes. We have lizard folk yes. on board upstairs. You must be careful. What he says is true. The Triton have heard of this trouble boiling as well. Yes. Yes. Is that why they sent you? I happened to be coming for a, a rite of passage, but it was impossible not to hear. But how can we help now? Is there something I can do to help you? Triton, we call to the deep, to the depths. May our strength arise and carry your power to shore. I invoke this on behalf of my clan. All of you. This tide will arise across all of us. We must be ready to meet it. And he kind of falters and falls against the back of the... Try to steady him. <clears throat> I would like to use a spell slot to do lay on hands. It's actually not... It's not a spell slot. You can just or, expend yeah, those just points. Yeah, to just expend those points. Yeah, okay. I will do that then. Doing... Uh, I think you're level two. You have ten points right now, I think? or Yes. Okay. How many of them are you using? Um... I'm gonna hope that we're gonna get a long rest. So I'm gonna use... All ten. Okay. He looks considerably relieved. Um, as you heal him, his strength seems to return. He says, <clears throat> Thank you. No. Not to my people. Take me to your council. We must... We must reforge these old alliances. We must all know of this threat. Please. Yes. Let I us go immediately. would be happy to. And these ones, these lizards, what do you intend to do with them? 
to Ray and looks to the group. We have a spare boat. Do they know? Do they understand? Underst they understand that there's new people in charge. They were asking whether we were going to keep the same deal that they made with the previous captain. We haven't given them an answer yet. S stupid things. Well, you can let them go, or you can kill them where you are. I have not the strength to do the latter. Physically or emotionally? Perhaps both. I must gather my strength before tippity -tap, tippity -tap. before I become a hunter of beings again. Well, either way, sounds like we're heading back to Salt Marsh. Then well, set a course. We're gonna need to sort these lizard out first. I'll tell them there's no, no that... deal, and like there's a boat there that they can make their way back to their clan. Nether is not with the rest of the group. Um, she would like to uh, search the body of the captain. Alrighty. Uh, I just generally search all the bodies, I suppose. Um, the captain mostly has a ring of keys. He has a pouch. Oh, these will be useful for things that might be trapped. <laughs> um... A number of um, uh, a pouch of gold as well, but most of what he has has been locked up in his cabin. 